That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free And the whole of the brave First at four, genealogical DNA is becoming more and more useful to helping investigators solve cold cases. Um, but when it came to the, the police side of things, they, they found this was a, a good avenue or a good area to get into. Investigators sharing how the method actually works in crime tracking. Plus, a heartbroken mother is speaking out after filing a wrongful death claim against child services following her 10-year-old son's murder. What's a kid supposed to do other than saying, he's going to kill me? He's going to kill me. And guess what? He killed him that she says could have stopped the killing before it happened. And did you get COVID? There's a plan to address the long-term effects of the coronavirus. The lingering symptoms health officials say millions of Americans could be experiencing. Plus, one central Indiana city is already getting into the Easter spirit this weekend. The festivities that await those going to this year's Egg Palooza. Fox 59 Morning News starts right now. Across the world earlier today, video of garbage bins were seen floating down a flooded street near a high school in Wollongong, Australia. As heavy rain hit the area, we're talking heavy. The country's Bureau of Meteorology issued a severe weather warning for flash flooding. Six hourly rainfall totals of two to four inches. Rain were likely in seven inches in coastal areas. Yeah, it doesn't look it's like a street. Australia. Oh, it's always Australia. It's always <laughs> Australia. In that case, there's nothing they could do about it. Good morning, everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'm Scott Jones. I'm Britt Baker, and for Lindy Thaxton, Jim's here, and Alyssa Andrews, first time on the morning show. Hey, good morning, guys. Me, so yeah, welcome. Good to meet you on air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? 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 <laughs> Seen you one other time. So, yeah, we'll be doing traffic today and uh, weather. You were, you hit it right on the head what? yesterday. Yeah. What weather did I do? Yesterday. You got something yeah. right. Oh, wow. Wow, so thank you. Wow, you, you know, paid attention. There? Yes, I did. You know that you quizzed me earlier. Way to go. This week. Way to you don't pay go. attention to anything we <laughs> didn't say. Did I pass yeah. the quiz earlier? Yes, this week? you did. Yes, you did. All right, we'll Good see job. if you pay attention later on today as well. All right, dry start here to begin our morning, guys, but a cooler beginning as well. We will be back to at least afternoon showers around for today. A lot of dry time, though, on through the morning and early afternoon, but there will be a rain chance sneaking back in here, it looks like, throughout the afternoon and into the evening. And that wintry mix I talked about. About all week and actually going back the last week that is going to happen it looks like for tomorrow and into our Saturday as you'll notice the live look at guarding radar again dry out there to begin our Thursday morning and we will enjoy some early sunshine clouds start to increase and eventually rain chances start to sneak in here throughout the day we're currently at 44 We'll drop down to 40 before sunrise. Our wind chills are in the 30s now to begin our morning. And how warm will it get later on today? Well, not a big warm up after hitting 58 for a high yesterday afternoon. Our high today only topping out. It looks like at 50 degrees. We'll have much more on that wintry mix headed our way. Let's get an update in traffic right now. Melissa's got the latest. All right, things look good to start off this morning, so we're glad to hear that. Everything's moving along pretty smoothly here around the 465 loop. But right now, looking ahead at traffic, just if we take a closer look at the bottom of 465, right on the south edge here, there is a little bit of slower moving traffic, but no injuries or crashes to report this morning. Drive times all look to be pretty good this morning. If you're heading eastbound on I-865 to Allisonville Road, 11 minutes, that's going to be your commute time there. Average speeds all looking good in our Speed sensors are green and good to go this morning. If you're heading um, on the north side, if you're going up to Greenwood, heading I-65 northbound from County Line Road, you're going to be driving at 63 miles an hour. Hey, Alyssa, thank you for that. We begin this morning with breaking news out of downtown Indianapolis. IMPD investigating a shooting off Hudson Street happening just after midnight. Police sharing with us it could be related to a marijuana deal. 
Officers say an adult male was found shot and was taken to a local hospital in serious condition, but they say he is stable. A witness who saw the encounter say the suspect, the vehicle fled the scene in a gray Chevy Impala or Malibu, and officers believe it's headed to the east side. This morning, we are taking a closer look at genealogical DNA and also how it's used to solve cold cases after this method helped identify the infamous I-65 killer. Lindsay Stone is joining us now live in the studio with how this method is helping forensic investigators solve some of the toughest cases. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning to you both. Well, forensic investigators say using genealogical DNA to solve these cold cases will likely become more and more common. Now, this technology most famously helped to find the Golden State Killer and now it's solved one of Indiana's biggest cold cases, the I-65 killer. So how does this te actually, technology actually work? Well, investigators take DNA found at crime scenes and run it through genealogical databases that include people's DNA from popular genealogical companies, the same ones that you use to find your ancestors. Investigators attempt to find a relative of the suspect and then use the family tree to find their suspect. Now, local forensic investigators say that is really where the tough work begins. For genetic genealogy, it's looking at what samples that individuals have freely put up uh, on the websites, on the databases, that can be uh, matched to this unknown sample. And it doesn't have to be a 100% match, it can just be a very, very small portion. And then this leads to the identity of that individual that shared this <laughs> profile. Experts say this method has become more advanced in the last 10 years, really allowing police to work alongside professionals in record searching to solve some of the most difficult cases. Experts say the technology is only continuing to advance and get better, so they say solving cold cases could become much more common as this technology is used. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News. Interesting story, Lindsay, thank you. Vandals smashing a burned Cumberland Park, and that resulted in about $20,000 in damage. And now the teens involved are being questioned by police, and one parent even offered to turn their own teen in if needed. It was not. The damages happened last week in Alliance Park. City officials saying the destruction lasted several hours from Saturday into Sunday morning. At least one teen poured gasoline down a slide and lit it on fire, along with a tennis court. The park's tennis court, the net was burned, a $20,000 mural was spray painted with obscenities, and that's not all. A $4,500 water fountain was smashed down to its base. Thanks to tips and surveillance from the public, police were able to identify all four teens involved. We're here, and at least they're showing some remorse and looking like they want to do something to remedy that. All right, the city was already in the process of beeping up security at the park, including improved lighting and cameras. Workers had just finished phase one of the upgrades before the team smashed an electrical panel. Now phase two will face setbacks. By the way, police are talking with prosecutors about possible charges against the kids, which could include criminal mischief and even arson. An Indiana mother is speaking out after filing a wrongful death suit against DCS following the murder of her 10-year-old son, Nakota Kelly. In court records, his mother Haley says her son knew he would be killed by his father when he went to his house for a visit in July of 2020. Haley says she reported it and a DCS employee told her Nakota had to stay at his dad's house under a court order. Metro Police says Nakota's father Anthony DeBaya confessed to suffocating him to death before disposing of his body. The lawsuit filed this week says DCS does share responsibility for Nakota's death. I think if they just listened to Nakota, they would have um, been able to stop it. A spokesperson for DCS said they have no comment on the case. Meanwhile, Anthony DeBaya will go on trial for murder next month. The month-long Russian blockade of the Ukrainian city of Maripol has led to the deaths of more than 5,000 civilians. That's according to the mayor there. He says Russian forces have bombed many targets, including hospitals. Well, right now, the United States and European Union are tightening sanctions on Russia. Yesterday, they both announced new sanctions against the country's top banks and family members of President Vladimir Putin, including his daughters. President Biden says this is in response to war crime allegations in Ukraine. We're going to stifle Russia's ability and its economy to grow for years to come. The Justice Department is working with several allies to gather evidence of possible Russian war crimes. President Biden is calling for President Putin to face a war crimes trial. 
Time right now is 4.09. The Biden administration is launching an effort to detect and treat long-haul COVID. Those are basically lingering symptoms of the coronavirus that can last weeks, months, or even years. Millions of Americans could be experiencing this. Democratic Virginia Senator Tim Kaine saying he is one of them. It's 24-7 for the last two years. Neurological symptoms, cardiac symptoms, pulmonary symptoms, muscle, fatigue, muscle pain and fatigue symptoms. The new government response to long COVID is focused on three main goals, improving care, services and support, enhancing education and outreach among the public, private and medical communities, and also advancing the research. We'll continue to assess and highlight the long-term effects of COVID-19 on our hardest hit and highest risk communities and make sure they receive the support they need. The Department of Health and Human Services planning to share information in real time on detecting and treating long COVID. Well, happening today, a replacement for the Supreme Court vacancy could be announced. Judge Katanji Brown Jackson will be put before the Senate to officially be confirmed to the Supreme Court. Jackson will be replacing Justice Stephen Breyer, who will be retiring at the end of the court term this summer. Time right now is 10 after 4. It's a major problem this year across the nation and might also be headed to central Indiana. Health officials share what is going on with an outbreak of bird flu and the problems it's causing for farmers and zoos in the U.S. Plus, a Minneapolis officer will not face charges in a deadly no-knock warrant shooting from February. We will tell you the evidence prosecutors say gives the officer a defense and also hear reaction from the family of the man who was killed. Right out the door, dry conditions continue for now. That will change throughout the afternoon. Rain chances are back in the forecast throughout the afternoon and evening. A cooler start, though. Keep that in mind. Low 40s out the door. Much more on today's weather and talking about that wintry mix on the way. Details on that coming up. An Indiana family who lost their son to opioids. Selected to speak to Purdue Pharma's Sackler family in court. You wanted to make sure the Sacklers heard that. Uh, absolutely. And I hope they hear it in their dreams at night. Why the family was not satisfied with their day in court. Justice was not served. Tonight on Fox 59 News at 10. Spring is in the air, so isn't it time to refresh your home's look? During God Be Home Furnishing Spring Sale, we've got a huge amount of inventory in stock and ready to be delivered. Save 50% off retail on Flex Steel, Hickory Craft, Cannondale, and Winesburg, and 15% off everything else in the store. And all outdoor furniture is on sale, too. Plus, with your mattress purchase, get a free foundation or save big on an adjustable base. The annual spring sale is going on now. Come see us at God Be Home Furnishings. Disabled? Want your benefits... Now, don't ask the bureaucrats to pay you what's rightfully yours. They may try to deny your benefits or downplay your disabilities. You need a disability lawyer to find a way to successfully pursue your claim. Tell them you mean business. Call 1-800-2-KELLER. Keller and Keller, right now. 1-800-2-KELLER. It's Empire Today's biggest sale, the 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. That's right, half off your entire project. You can save thousands. Empire's 50-50-50 sale won't last long. Don't miss 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300, Empire Today. Just one drop. Oh! <laughs> Gorilla Super Glue Micro Precise. Of course! Precise application. Controlled dispensing with Gorilla Strength. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Welcome back 413. Three men now in custody after Sa Sunday's mass shooting in Sacramento, California. Police believe there were at least five shooters and they say the incident was gang related. Six people were killed and 12 others were hurt. 
A social media video shows a fight before the chaos erupted. Police believe two brothers, DeAndre and Smiley Martin, fired into a crowd. Both of those men have criminal records, too. Smiley was most recently released from prison just in February. He served a 10-year sentence, half a 10-year sentence, for beating a girlfriend. The third arrest involves a man who had a firearm that doesn't appear to have been used in the shooting. Prosecutors will not press charges against a Minneapolis SWAT officer who shot and killed Amir Locke during a no-knock warrant back in February. The 22-year-old was sleeping on a couch when authorities entered the room while investigating a homicide. That warrant was for his cousin, whose home Locke was in at the time. Prosecutors say police body cam video shows Locke pointed a gun at an officer. They ultimately decided that officer was justified in using his weapon. The attorney general says it would be unethical to file charges in case the law does not support charges for. Meanwhile, Locke's family says they are deeply disappointed by the decision. They are expected to ask the U.S. Justice Department to at least review the case. Locke's death and the raid that killed Breonna Taylor in Kentucky prompted changes in Minneapolis. Last month, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry issued a policy requiring officers knock and wait 20 seconds before entering a residence. That will go in effect on Friday, tomorrow. And several other states are also reevaluating their policies, too. A massive outbreak of bird flu is devastating poultry farmers in more than a dozen states. The USDA reports avian flu is surging. Health officials call it the worst outbreak since 2015. Now more than 22 million birds are being put to death to prevent the spread of that virus. Some zoos are now moving birds indoors to protect them from that flu. The Indianapolis Zoo monitoring its birds for the illness. So far they say all their birds though fortunately are healthy. The city of Westfield is getting into the Easter spirit this weekend. On Sunday, the town will host, as you can see, Egg Palooza. It's an event for dogs and their owners. It will feature things like egg hunts, pictures with the Easter bunny, and a doggy talent show. Part of the proceeds will go to the Indiana Canine Assistance Network. And they provide safety, friendship, and independence for children and adults with disabilities. And with March being Disability, National Disability Awareness Month, this is a way for us to extend our efforts as a city. Eggpalooza is this Sunday from 12 to 3 at the Asa Bales Park. Tickets are $5, although kids age 4 and under, they will get in free. Oh, that's 4 and under free. That's always good for me since I've got... <laughs> After that, you don't, <laughs> after that, you don't take them anywhere. They don't count them no, if they're not out of the belly yet. So. Well, my, my youngest uh, that's on earth right now right. is two, so she gets in free places. Right. So that go. sounds like fun. These two are slightly above earth right now. <laughs> right. The twins. Just slightly. Right. Yeah. Yes. yes. The twins. Did we find out yet yeah. if they're boys or girls? Um, or Beginning you know? of May. Okay. Beginning All right. Of May. So we'll have the, are we we'll going to have a reveal? reveal? Okay, maybe we are. We're gonna, we're gonna do, maybe we'll do it on the show. Let's do that. Let's get some get balloons some outside. And make a big old mess in here. Right. We're going to shoot. Oh, I'd rather do it outside with like outside? BB guns. Like you blue. shoot the balloon and. You know. Big old smoke bombs. Right. There yeah. you go. Those Sounds great good. Ideas. All right. Let's do that. <laughs> Looking forward to it. I'll put it in my calendar. All right. 417, guys. What day in May? We know uh, May third. May third. Mm -hmm. Okay, early May. Yes, it is. All right, let's uh, take you outside. Let's show you what's happening here in downtown. Uh, dry conditions out there right now. Partly cloudy skies as well. We will see clouds increasing. It looks like throughout the morning, but we'll enjoy any sunshine early on in the day. It does turn a bit overcast throughout the afternoon, and on top of that, rain chances start to build back in as well. So another day where we'll have this rain chance. Dry on the front end. Wet on the back end, it looks like, throughout this afternoon and into the evening. And another cool day shaping up here as well. Another day running below average. In fact, cooler today than it was on our Wednesday. Nothing on the radar, though, right now. And you can certainly see the breaks in the clouds out towards the west and off towards the south. But already a few showers now starting to sneak in out towards Illinois. I think most of that activity won't get here, it looks like, until the afternoon. We're still tracking snow, by the way, out towards Minnesota. And some of that energy is headed here, it looks like, tonight. And heading into our Friday and Saturday, it's going to get even colder heading into the weekend. We talked about it all week. One front is through and a couple of uh, waves of energy or what we call troughs will continue to wrap around this area of low pressure and basically keep us rather cloudy and much colder here, certainly for this time of the year. There is a west wind at 10 out the door and that is creating wind chills as we're holding at 44. 
Wind chills are in the 30s now. We're down to 42 in Lafayette, but the wind chills are holding at 37 in Kokomo. Feels like 39 here in Indy and 37 the current wind chill in Lafayette. Now, timing out the rain, as I mentioned, a lot of dry time, but as we head into the early afternoon, you can see the shower chances here around 1:30. And we'll keep the rain chances. This should be all rain, by the way, throughout the day. Might see one or two ice pellets by the evening, but overall, I think the wintry mix really doesn't kick in until late tonight and into tomorrow. And overall, roadways should be fine. I think our ground temperature is going to be too warm for any really accumulation, at least for tomorrow. But we could see a light dusting, it looks like, late Friday night and into Saturday. Highs today struggling. We'll try to get up to about 50 here. Later on today, that's running well below average for this time of the year. Into the evening, the rain chances continue off and on. Look for temperatures, it looks like, by 11 o'clock at 41. We're down into the lower 30s early tomorrow morning. Here's that rain chance, as I mentioned, tomorrow. Could be a wintry mix at times as well. A really cloudy, unsettled day on Friday. Much cooler as well, and you can certainly see this is going to continue. We'll start to get into even colder air, it looks like, on Saturday. There's the snow chances that I mentioned throughout the week that will be happening here by the weekend. And the clouds are going to hang around all day on Saturday. I mean, a really cold day. Highs only in the 30s for most of us, it looks like, on our Saturday. Now, things do start to change. I mentioned that warm-up as well. That begins on Sunday. Really kicks in by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. We're talking highs in the mid to upper 70s, it looks like, by Tuesday into Wednesday. But there are rain chances that come along with that. Take a look at that seven day forecast going backwards here for the next couple of days. We'll jump up to 62 on Sunday. 70s are back Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday with a daily rain chance, guys. Man, major difference between this week and next week's temperatures. Yeah, I'm looking 30s, forward. upper 70s. <laughs> Yeah, Jim, thank you. It's been a blast from the past for the Butler Bulldogs. Former coach Thad Mata being reintroduced as the new head coach for the second time. His outlook for the next season. Plus, Tiger Woods is a favorite to win this year's Masters. The big bet sports fans are placing on the star golfer for his return. Closed captioning is sponsored by Genesis of Noblesville, the new luxury vehicle. When buying a car from the Tom Wood Auto Group, you also get the peace of mind that comes with our no-cost lifetime powertrain coverage on most new and used cars. We cover the major systems of your vehicle for as long as you own it. Get the car you want, the way you want, from the Tom Wood Auto Group. The Menards Garden Center is open. Save 11% at your one-stop destination for all your outdoor projects. Want flowers for your deck, patio, or yard? We've got hundreds of colorful options to choose from. Growing a larger garden? We've got the soils, seeds, and and tools you need. Landscaping? Check out our wide selection of edgers, pavers, and patio block. The Menards Garden Center. Let's grow! Right now, pick up a bag of mulch for just $1.75 each. So it's early spring and it's time to get the pre-emergent down on that lawn. Get the weeds before the weeds get you. A product that we use is Fertilome has dimension in it. That's the stuff that you're going to need to keep those weeds out and get that product. Two locations, Greenwood and Brownsburg. They've rocked over 35 million fans around the world. It's my Bon Jovi, the 2022 tour. Game Bridge Fieldhouse, April 19th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Bon Jovi, all their anthems for one incredible night. Presented by Hampton Water. For more, check BonJovi.com. Take a break from your mid-morning slump. See why Indy Now is the most watched lifestyle show in central Indiana. Hey, Mark, we're going to have such a fun show. <laughs> oh, oh, that was good. Come for the best deals. Stay for the laughs. <laughs> Hoosier just left us a present on the set. And then that. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, my God. See what everyone's talking about. Watch Indy Now, weekdays at 10 a.m. on Fox 59. Hey, good morning. I'm Chris Hagen. We're talking college hoops. You know, sometimes life comes full circle. That was the case yesterday for Thad Mata at Butler. Less than a week after parting ways with Laval Jordan, the Bulldogs introducing Mata as head coach for the second time in 22 years. Thad played for the Bulldogs and was then an assistant coach before taking over the top spot for just one season. But oh, what a season it was. 2000-2001, a 24-8 record, MCC regular season and conference tourney champs, even a win in the big dance. And Thad, 
Well, then he was off to Xavier and Ohio State before stepping down for health reasons in 2017. Took a small step back into the game last season with a role on Mike Woodson's staff at IU, and now it's back to where it all started. It's unique when, when you think about it in, in terms of, of the coaching cycle. Um, I, I, I feel blessed to have this opportunity. You know, not very many guys get to do this, especially at their alma mater. It means the world to be back here, and, and um, I, I just excited to get going. Earlier in the day up in Muncie, Ball State introducing Michael Lewis as its new head coach. Lewis was a star guard at Jasper before breaking records under Bob Knight at IU. After two years of pro ball, Lewis began his coaching career, which has included six stops, the most recent at UCLA where the Bruins advanced to the Final Four and then Sweet 16. Despite all the different stops, however, Lewis still sounds like a native Hoosier. I'm a basketball guy. It's all I know. Um, I got one recruiting letter from Yale. I turned in my academics and I never heard from them again. Um, so I, I can't do some of the things that, that President Burns can do. Uh, but I know basketball. Yes, he does. That's sports. I'm Chris A. Well, as we've been saying all week, opening day for Major League Baseball is today. Taking a look at today's lineup, Brewers and Cubs take the field at 220, Guardians and Royals at 410, Pirates and Cardinals at 415, Reds at Braves at 808, and on Friday, the White Sox take on the Tigers at 110. And of course, opening day was supposed to be last week, but was delayed because of the lockout as the League and Players Association negotiated. The teams, though, are still expected to play all of their games. Hey, this morning, more and more people are betting on PGA golfer Tiger Woods to win this year's Masters. Right now, he's about a 75 to 1 odds of winning. Started out the betting at 100 to 1, so he's getting better. Full competition since the 2021 major car crash. The star golfer is still the most bet player to win the Masters. At the beginning of the week, Woods was getting 7.6% of the bets at Sportsbook. That share has now increased to 12.4%, and Woods has gotten more than twice the bets of any other player. A lot of people hoping he wins. Mm -hmm. Fist bump. Businesses are seeing an uptick in customers as workers return to the office. Thousands of returning employees means good news for many restaurants and bars. How some business owners in downtown Columbus are adjusting for the big return. And Indy Animal Care Services are investigating a tragic scene on the south side. What led them to a dozen dogs in a home and church? People have been wondering. But it's really what Lindsay's gotten into, Planet Fitness. And now through April 14th, you can join for only $1 down and $10 a month. Join now and feel fittacular for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. But hurry, deal ends Thursday, April 14th. Auto. Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. As a nonprofit co op, we're focused on providing the best service we can for our members. However, we communicate with the, with the member and customer is how they want to communicate. Nine Star is a different kind of company, and the difference is you. The pulse of our community flows through all of us. It's the lifeblood that connects us. But what if one day the pulse stopped? Your blood donation with the Versity Blood Center of Indiana keeps the pulse of our community strong. The need for your life-saving gift of blood is vital. Schedule your donation at versity.org or call 800-632-4722. Together we are a beacon of hope. A beacon of hope. We all know that Oak Motors is one of the largest buy here, pay here dealerships in Indiana, and you also have one of the best service departments in town. We provide a 36 month, 36,000 mile powertrain warranty with all of our vehicles. So we'll take care of our customers even after the sale. I'm out on these streets every day, investigating violent crime in Indianapolis. And citizens are telling me they're scared. Fox 59 News Crime Mapping. A powerful new tool to help you pinpoint exactly what violent crimes are happening where. It's interactive. It's what you've been telling us you want. Log on to fox59.com slash crime mapping. 
Wake Up with Angela Gnote on Fox 59. People have been wondering, but it's really what Lindsay's gotten into, Planet Fitness. And now through April 14th, you can join for only $1 down and $10 a month. Join now and feel fit-tacular for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time. But hurry, deal ends Thursday, April 14th. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. First at 4.30, a crackdown on distracted driving is underway. The increased police presence you can expect on roads today. Plus, plenty of runners taking part as the Carmel Marathon returns this weekend. But for one mom, this one is special. The significance of this race and her running journey. Well, today is April 7th, and we're celebrating National Coffee Cake Day. Coffee cake is a cake intended to be eaten while enjoying a cup of coffee, maybe for breakfast or during a coffee break. The coffee cake itself doesn't contain any coffee most of the time. They're usually single layer cakes made in square, rectangle, or ring shaped pans. Coffee cakes are often flavored with cinnamon or other spices, seeds, nuts, fruits like blueberries or apples even maybe. Typically they have a crumb topping or a glazed drizzle. And I just had an idea. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. I can't believe it's not Tyrone. butter. Tyrone. You put in food stories like this every day. Yeah. We're celebrating this national day, uh -huh. yet we never have anything to celebrate. So mm. I think that when we're celebrating these days, we should have this stuff. So you're saying our producers <laughs> should go show. out and bias the food? He's <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> they need to pay more. For yeah. that. I mean, reimbursement, I don't know. We used to do stuff like that. Yeah, good luck Back getting that day. reimbursement. Mm -hmm. But coffee cake really right. does sound good. It's an open credit card. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I don't even like you coffee still have cake one of those? Yeah. I don't. So I might. You don't like it? No. Oh, do you like coffee? Uh, actually, no. No, well, maybe, no, maybe I mean, today. I'll just, I'll just <laughs> slam Diet Coke. It's not uh, good. Okay. I need to come up with a new vice. <laughs> I mean, caffeine. There you go. Right. Uh, All right. Well, I'm down with the coffee cake. I know. So, I got is the there coffee. any back there? Do, do they sell that? No, the I don't so. think so. I'm about machine? to go get me a, a pop tart. I'm gonna get though, a sleeve maybe. of donuts. There you go. All right. Uh, close yeah. enough. Five or four thirty-one, rather. Four thirty-one. Our time and outside right now. It is a cool but dry beginning to our day. We'll enjoy that. We will start to see rain chances though starting to build back in. Our best chances actually get here for the afternoon, but we could see one or two random showers late morning. Right now, the radar pretty dry. At least here in Indiana, the clouds are broken up a little bit, so we'll try to enjoy a little early sunshine, but we are certainly making a transition into much colder air, it looks like, in the days ahead. And today you'll certainly feel that 44, our current reading, and likely to drop down a few more degrees before sunrise. Wind chills are in the 30s. Keep that in mind. Out the door, you'll need that heavier coat. Keep the umbrella handy uh, throughout the afternoon. Out the door, about 40. It looks like later on today. We'll struggle a high today that only tops out at about 50 degrees here in the city. That's 11 degrees below average for this time of the year. Now, there is a wintry mix on the way for tomorrow and Saturday. More on that and that warm up coming up. Alyssa, over to you. All right, well, we're starting to see a little bit of activity picking up around 465 on the south side near 37. We're looking at traffic that's moving along smoothly, but also we're, we're getting a few extra cars starting to mix in here now. So that's I-465 and Harding Street. Outside of that, there's really not a whole lot to see right now. That's good news for early morning. We are not looking at any crashes to report, and traffic seems to be moving along at the speeds that we're supposed to be going at. Visibility is all clear as you head out the door this morning. It'll be easier to see outside, and it looks like our drive times are all moving how they should be as well. If you're heading eastbound from the airport to the south split, that's going to be a nine minute commute for you. Southbound from I 465 to Meridian Street, same thing, nine minutes with the average speed at 65 miles an hour. We're also taking a look at some gas prices in Indiana today. One Burpee USA in Franklin, that's $3.62 per gallon. We've also got Circle K in Shelbyville at $3.66. And Speedway, if you are in Greenfield, that's $3.66 to fill up your car per gallon. And also Casey's in Franklin at $3.67 per gallon. Well, Indiana State Police released a new clue in the search for suspects in a deadly shooting on 465. They believe one of the suspects, Brianne Brown Jr., drives a black 2006 Mercedes. This picture comes from an IMPD traffic camera. Brown and Dewan Glenn Jr. are both wanted for the shooting death of 28-year-old Miguel Emery. Emery was killed while driving on 465 back in December, and another man was also hurt. Detectives have arrested one man in the case so far. Jacinto Carter is charged with murder and battery. 
If you know where Brown and Glenn Jr. are, call police. They are considered to be armed and dangerous. Changes are being made to a bus stop on the east side of Indianapolis after seven-year-old Sevian Sanford was killed when he was hit by two cars last month. This happened near the Warren Harbor Apartments on East 21st Street. We've learned the property management and Warren Township schools collaborated to move the stop away from the busy road. They also had yellow lines painted to stop cars from parking where the buses will pick up and drop off students. The community needs to really just slow down and watch out for these kids. If y'all see a bus stop, it's for a reason. The bus stop should be in the neighborhood. The bus is like, we have to find a way for buses to turn around and make it as safe as possible for our kids. All right, one of the cars that hit Sevian, a light-colored sedan, fled the scene and has not been found. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Just that one time that you put your head down or you got your phone in front of you could take somebody's life. Happening today, you may notice more officers on the road as part of a nationwide initiative to crack down on distracted driving. Our air pointer hit the streets and joins us now live overlooking one of the big ones, 465. He's sharing the way this new program works. Eric, good morning. Well, good morning. It's called the Connect to Disconnect campaign, and it's all about keeping all roadways just like this one safe for everyone. Several pol local police departments are taking part right here in central Indiana. The goal is to spread awareness, educate drivers, and reduce the number of crashes caused by distracted driving. This month is also Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and IMPD officers say that they'll be on the lookout for anyone breaking the hands-free law. On my way here to meet with you all, I pulled up next to a lady and she's got her phone in her face and I can tell she's texting and she looks over at me because she sees that patrol car she puts her phone down. However, we want you to never do that even when you don't see a patrol car. I think that's extremely important. In 2020, Indiana passed the hands-free driving law. It makes it illegal to even be holding your phone while driving. Since then, police have issued more than 6,000 citations and almost twice as many warnings last year alone. Officials say that violations of the hands-free law could result in fines up to $500 for each offense. Live here on the Northwest Side, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News. Hey, Eric, thank you for that update. Our cameras were rolling when about a dozen dogs were pulled from a home and church on the south side. This was the scene near Epler and Concord. Indianapolis Animal Care Services tells us they assisted the health department to remove the dogs from the home. Neighbors say they complained about the odor before. The cause of the smell had been a mystery until now. I love animals in general. Um, dogs are my favorite. They're, they're like, you know, like the old saying is a man's best friend and it's just so sad and heartbreaking because animals are the, the heart and soul of, of, of humans and we need to treat them better. We're trying to get more information from police, including how long the dogs had been there and the condition of the building. The dogs will be held at the IACS shelter during the investigation. Business owners in Columbus are saying they are already seeing the impact of Cummins bringing employees back to downtown offices following COVID. Cummins employees have been working virtually for the last two years. Just this week, the company started bringing staff back to its U.S. offices in person. In downtown Columbus, that could mean up to 8,000 employees. Restaurants and bars say they're already seeing an uptick in business this week. We were all very happy, all smiling throughout lunch. Uh, it was nice to see the fresh faces again and hear them talking amongst each other about how they haven't seen each other in two years. All right, it is not yet clear how many Cummins employees are back in their offices. The company plans to bring staff back both in the office and on hybrid schedules. Well, this weekend, thousands of runners from 43 different states will hit the streets for the Carmel Marathon. The race will mark the 50th marathon for Keeley Slough. Keeley's a mother of four boys who lives in Lawrence. She's done marathons all across the country and even logged 26.2 miles in a race just this past weekend. The Carmel Marathon will be her 50th marathon in the past 15 uh, years. Keeley says she never sets a finish time goal. Instead, she just runs for the feeling of crossing that finish line. The thing about running is it's, it's not about competing with anybody else. You know, I mean, there's tons of people that beat me that are faster than me, better than me. Um, but it's more about, you know, just enjoying it and competing with yourself. 
Yes, do it for yourself, girl. Well, Keely plans to run a marathon as long as her body allows her to. Her ultimate goal is to take part in a 100-mile race. It's like a, one of those ultra marathons or something like that. Yeah, I don't know if I could ever do a marathon. I can sprint <laughs> from the couch to the fridge and back. In record time sometimes, Britt. Mm, you should get some food and then go sit and eat it. Yeah, don't be too impressed. Mm -hmm. You know, with a lot of <laughs> pandemic restrictions fading away, a new chapter is beginning in the land of Disney. The hugs of joy and laughter expected to come home for children and adults at theme parks. Plus, Apple is bringing its employees back to the office. The mixed emotions workers are sharing about the company's move. Be sure to grab that coat heading out. Temperatures continue to fall here down into the lower 40s. To begin our morning, that does not include the wind chill. Wind chills are down in the 30s already here, but a dry beginning that will change. We're timing out the rain chances today and a look ahead to that weekend forecast coming up. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Yes, I want to sell you this car. Nope, I don't need to talk about it. Visit your Indianapolis Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX. Ah, finally, spring has sprung and the weather's getting nice. Pat Sullivan here from Sullivan Hardware and Garden and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan. Our stores are blooming with perennials, annuals, shrubs, trees, and much more. We also specialize in excellent quality, mid-priced patio furniture, like all-weather wicker, Berlin Gardens poly, cast aluminum teak, and more. And for a limited time, 30% off all patio furniture. Shop, play, experience. Spring with Sullivan's. Junk removal for as low as $49. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK today. My discount goes a long way at Bob's Discount Furniture. In fact, four sections long. My Lux four-piece sectional. Super comfy with soft chenille-like fabric. Super stylish with 10 accent pillows that I don't charge more for. And it's available in two colors. All this style and comfort for my everyday low price of $19.99. Space tight? Go with the two-piece for an untouchable $13.99. Either way, that's a lot of sections for an untouchable price. Shop what's in stock, in-store, or at mybobs.com. They've rocked over 35 million fans around the world. It's my life. Bon Jovi, the 2022 tour. Game Bridge Fieldhouse, April 19th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Bon Jovi, all their anthems for one incredible night. Presented by Hampton Water. For more, check BonJovi.com. Hey, I'm Michael Needler, your local grocer. My family roots are right here in Indiana, and I'm so excited about our newest Needler's Fresh Markets in Carmel. Here you'll find all your local favorites and everything you need for your family. At Needler's Fresh Markets, you'll be delighted. Download the Fox 59 Weather Authority app today. The largest weather team with the most experience now on the go. Track severe weather with real-time radar wherever you are. It's fast, easy, and free. Powered by Forum Credit Union. All right, welcome back on this Thursday morning. We're checking in on our satellite radar map right now. Not much out there. Uh, clouds are broken up. Wind chills are in the 30s. That will change later on today. Rain chances are back in. We'll have the timing on that coming up. Jim, thank you. We have new information this morning about going back to work. Apple announcing its plans for returning to the office, and it's not getting the best reaction from some workers. Many Apple employees say they do not want to go back to the office, sit in traffic for two hours, and hire people to take care of their children. They also point out Apple's financial performance has not been hurt by remote workers, posting very strong quarterly revenue. That is true. Now, despite those arguments, Apple says employees are required back in the office at least once a week by April the 11th, twice a week by the end of the month, and on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays by May 23rd. Apple is also pushing for at-office work to protect its culture of secrecy, which is easier, they say, to maintain when everyone is in the same physical space. So, by comparison, Meta 
you know, Facebook, Instagram, is allowing permanent remote work for those not engineering hardware, while Amazon is leaving the decision to individual divisions. There, divisions. Your turn. <laughs> Good job, Scott. Thank you. I feel like I should pat you on the shoulder for that. Well, after years of social distancing, Mickey Mouse will soon be able to hug visitors at Disney Parks again. For two years, costume characters at Disney Parks in the U.S. have kept their distance due to COVID-19 restrictions, which meant characters weren't allowed to give hugs, sign autographs, or interact up close with Disney fans. But that's all about to change soon. The Disney Parks blog announced regular meet and greets will return as early as April 18th. The changes will apply at Disneyland in California, Walt Disney World in Florida, and on Disney cruises. I just went, you know, to Disney World in January, mm -hmm. and um, we did some character dining and things like that. But they had security guards, like all the the characters had like security guards, wow. like around oh. them. Could you and imagine? And they were just yeah. like, you know, and right. uh, we did this character dining experience in a restaurant where they would come out periodically and wave and. There was one little boy that like ran up to give Mickey Mouse a hug and he like scooted away and I was like, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> I can imagine that'd be a weird job for security to be to have yeah. to stop young kids from going and hugging I their know. favorite characters. Right. Yeah, so I'm I glad we had to go back to normal. Yeah, and I assume they do that because Ooh. they didn't want to have like Mickey Mouse be the one shoving them away. Right. You know, right. Yeah. kind of crush your dreams a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrangle the children. <laughs> right. But I'm glad it's getting back to normal, yeah. so yeah. that's good. Ho ho! Woo that was a good one. That's Thank you. Good. She got a news like that. You like that? I uh, love you it. You don't <laughs> look like you like that. 445, guys. Hey, heading out right Gold. now, we are looking at uh, partly cloudy skies here across the area to begin our morning. It is a little chilly out there as well. We're going to be looking at temperatures again out the door down to about 40 here in the city uh, to begin our morning. Wind chills already in the 30s and will drop down into the mid 30s here. At least that feels like temperature and again dry for now, but that will change heading into the afternoon. Rain chances are going to be building back in already tracking some light rain back out through Illinois. Uh, so clouds on the increase in a cooler day ahead here. Uh, we have been cooling down uh, really since yesterday. We'll We'll continue with that trend for today as well, and it looks like much colder air on the way heading into tomorrow and into Saturday as well. We're tracking latest now on a few flurries and snow showers back out through Minnesota, and really that cutoff low, that area of low pressure is going to drop in here tomorrow, so we will get back uh, to a wintry mix. Actually could see a little bit of rain mixing in with at least some ice pellets heading into late afternoon today and into the evening. So there is cold weather, no doubt, uh, just to the north and west, and that will continue to march off towards the south and southeast and impact Indiana, it looks like, in the days ahead. 44, our current reading here in downtown, and there's that west wind at 10. So I think we dropped down about 40 at sunrise to begin our morning. Wind chills are at 39. Wind chills likely down about 34, 35 degrees here at sunrise as well. So be sure to grab that heavier coat. You'll need it. Dry conditions holding on through the morning rush hour, but you can see by the afternoon, by 2 o'clock, we're tracking rain chances, and those rain chances will continue into the evening. Uh, looks like at times tonight, we'll start to see that wintry mix building back in, uh, as we'll likely wake up to rain chances and a few snow showers, it looks like, on Friday, and that's going to continue into Saturday as well. Highs today. Struggling. We'll try to get up to about 50 here, it looks like, later on this afternoon. As you'll notice, our planner for later on tonight, a lot of dry time by 9 o'clock into 11 o'clock this evening. That's going to allow for our temperatures to continue to drop. I think we're down to about 33 early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, an unsettled day. Cloudy, much colder. Highs right around 40, if lucky. In some locations, some areas may only stay in the upper 30s all day tomorrow. And you can certainly see that we'll have start to see that better chance of what looks like snow chances or at least snow showers early on Saturday morning. If we're to get any light dusting and accumulation in the grassy areas, it would be early Saturday morning and off and on Saturday afternoon. Now you can see the cutoff line off towards the west where the skies are clearing. That's on the way it looks like on Sunday. A lot of warmth back in here on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. We'll finally get back to the mid-70s, so we'll go from running well below average to well above average, it looks like, uh, early next week. All right, let's talk about the cool down here. 42 for a high tomorrow, 40 on Saturday. It looks like Sunday, a high only at 62, but it is a better day. And then here comes the warmth. A little rain chance on Monday and Tuesday, but a lot of dry time. Highs nearing 80 by Tuesday of next week. Alyssa?
All right, well, luckily still nothing to report on the roads right now. Everything is good to go. No crashes at the moment, but we'll take you to a, what, a live shot of what it looks like right now on I-465 and West 38th Street. So we're adding a few more cars to the road. Traffic's picking up a little bit, but no slowdowns to report, so that's good news. If you're on the south side this morning in Greenwood on I-65 going northbound from County Line Road, your speed times are all normal, 69 miles an hour there. Traffic is moving smoothly. Here's some other drive times for you. A normal commute, so it looks like right now we are all green on the speed sensors good to go if you're traveling southbound from 116th street to i-465 that's just going to be a five minute commute hey Alyssa, thank you for that well the race to build a hypersonic aircraft continues this morning that means the ones that go really fast past the speed of sound china makes their bid to that new technology the country's plans to launch the new planes within the next decade Whoosh. Plus, a new sports bar gains national attention on the West Coast. Ahead at 5, we take you inside the one-stop shop for female sports fans. And Fox 59 wants to wish you a happy birthday. Today's shout-out goes to Cheryl Liggins. Yes, your family says. Happy birthday to our beautiful daughter. Have a great day. Love you, Mom, Dad, and your family. Cheryl, happy birthday. Well, if you've got a birthday wish you want to share, too, just go to fox59.com slash happy birthday. Post their name, birthday picture, your shout-out, and we'll try and get it right here on the air. Award-winning safety comes standard in a Hyundai SUV. It's your journey. Own it. Get 2.25% APR for 60 months on our most popular SUVs with new inventory arriving daily. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Fox 59 invites you to be our guest at Condado, now open in Noblesville. Enjoy tacos made with the freshest ingredients that will satisfy your taste buds. Watch Indie Now Thursday morning to dine out and save half. Furry Fridays on Fox 59 Morning News is brought to you by Tom Wood Subaru. Spring Fest is back. And right now, you'll find everything your lawn and home needs this season. At great prices for the season. Stop by Lowe's now for your happiest spring. You can be your best friend with you and I'd love to have you stay. This house is yours and mine. This? You can always come around. Yeah. It's going to work. I think so too. American Family Insurance wants to help you bring your dream home to life. New homeowners can save an average of 22%. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. American Family Insurance. Fox 59 Morning News delivers the news, weather, and traffic reports from the people who get you going. He's talking about us. I like that announcer guy. Fox 59 Morning News, weekdays from 4 to 7. Award-winning safety comes standard in a Hyundai SUV. It's your journey. Own it. Get 2.25% APR for 60 months on our most popular SUVs with new inventory arriving daily. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Welcome back, everyone. It's 4.52. I'm a little out of breath because I just ran to the machine. Oh, did you get me my Pop-Tart? Oh, yeah. thank you. I got my sleeve of donuts. Since it's, we don't have coffee cake today, so right. this is great. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> health here at Fox 59. We're also looking at stories making headlines around the world yeah. hopped up on sugar. Hopped up, yeah, and we're starting in our favorite country. Australia? Australia. Fantastic. Where Boona the tree kangaroo was munching on some good food. Probably more healthy than this. Yeah, the kangaroo ate a boiled egg. Hey, that's Jim's favorite. Yeah. At the Adelaide Zoo. Looks a little like Jim. <laughs> Be nice. No, I meant that. Officials it's adorable. Officials at the zoo Jim's adorable. says she also loves bananas and eats them entirely, including the peels. I don't know about the peel. Jim does Goodfellows that. tree kangaroos live in trees and are distant relatives of kangaroos and wallabies. The species classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as endangered in the wild due to overhunting and loss of habitat. Who would hunt that? I don't know. Look at her face. They look oh, like, like something from sort of an animation. Listen, she's like, 
Yeah. You got any food for me? You got any food? All right, let's go to England now. This is an enrichment puzzle exercise for the zoo's orangutan Tigger. Tigger. He has to use a stick to pull the snacks, including nuts and carrots, toward the holes in the screen and then pull the snacks out with his tongue. Look at that. It's a tricky puzzle, they say. And the food has to be in just the right spot to get the rewards. <laughs> Thanks for the sounds effects there, Britt. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Tickets patiently. Eventually it works. Zoo workers say this exercise is a challenge both mentally and physically. Oh, you're, he's not going to do it again. You're okay, an audible I was wondering. <laughs> It's arguably the most popular video game in the world right now, and yesterday's Fortnite's developer Epic Games has revealed it's raised more than $144 million for Ukraine. On March 20th, the company pledged to donate all of its proceeds from the game to Ukraine relief efforts for two whole weeks. The total will fund humanitarian relief efforts led by several charities to help Ukrainian people affected by the ongoing war with Russia. Yeah, that's such a popular game. I'm not surprised they raised a lot of money, but $144 million. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. In two weeks, yeah. that is. Let's go back to England. Two missing notebooks, once owned by Charles Darwin, have been returned to Cambridge University. The books were reported missing more than 20 years ago. The small leather-bound notebooks from the 1830s appear to be in good condition. They contain field notes and sketches of Darwin's famous tree of life. They were left in a pink gift bag with a note that read, Happy Easter on March the 9th. The books were returned anonymously, and police are trying to find the person or people who had them. That's amazing. Yeah. They didn't even come forward with it. Happy Wonder Easter, why. though. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, a little early. Yeah, well, China has joined the hypersonic flight race with plans to develop an aircraft that can travel at one mile per second. That's fast. That's very fast. Taking passengers from New York to Shanghai in just two hours. Beijing-based space transportation has released animation showing the 12-seater space plane. The vehicle launches vertically, and then once it reaches cruise altitude, it separates from its boosters and reaches the edge of space at more than 4,000 miles per hour. I would have to wear like a motion sickness band, I think, yeah. <laughs> for that. Well, in the video, passengers are not wearing helmets or spacesuits. The company hopes to launch its first test flight in 2025, followed by a full-scale global hypersonic vehicle flight in 2030. Can you imagine if you do not have your stuff properly stored? Um, we told you, Britt, nothing below the seats. Um, you just hit the guy in the front. <laughs> <laughs> 456. Yeah, much more news ahead in the next hour. That includes a subscription that could actually pay off ahead at five, a special perk for Disney Plus members that might come in handy this summer. Ooh, I, I'm one of those people. Plus, oil executives are grilled on Capitol Hill about record high gas prices, the reason they don't think they should take the blame. And a romance novelist writes a column called How to Murder Your Husband. Now prosecutors say she did just that. What her alleged motive was. All right, class, time for a pop quiz. Where can Hoosiers find all the laughs? Dot, 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 the dot. Now, where can they find all the fun? On the dot, 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 dot. Very good. Last question, where can they find all of their friends? Dot, 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 dot. Bravo, you passed. Unwind with your favorite TV shows all day, every day, on the dot. Today, every business is digital. From web design and development to e-commerce, AmericanEagle.com delivers innovative website and digital solutions, driving growth for their clients. Their e-commerce work for WeatherTech focused on advanced functionality in finding specific products, increasing conversion, and accelerating growth. Need to build online revenue? Let's talk. AmericanEagle.com, building your digital mindset. 
spring is in the air, so isn't it time to refresh your home's look? During Godby Home Furnishing Spring Sale, we've got a huge amount of inventory in stock and ready to be delivered. Save 50% off retail on Flex Steel, Hickory Craft, Cannadale, and Winesburg, and 15% off everything else in the store. And all outdoor furniture is on sale, too. Plus, with your mattress purchase, get a free foundation or save big on an adjustable base. The annual spring sale is going on now. Come see us at Godby Home Furnishings. We all know that Oak Motors is one of the largest buy here, pay here dealerships in Indiana, and you also have one of the best service departments in town. We provide a 36 month, 36,000 mile powertrain warranty with all of our vehicles. So we'll take care of our customers even after the sale. Join Beer Shell Edme on Fox 59. Okay, let's start with some clouds. Some mountains over there. And finally, a river. Hey, Dad, look. Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with the Travel Peace of Mind package. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Trust Fox 59 News at 10 to deliver. Complete coverage of the facts. Every single night at 10 o'clock. Fox 59 News at 10. It wasn't like he just randomly drove up and shot somebody. I'm Pity asking for your help this morning after a man was found shot in a downtown alley. The piece of evidence they want everyone to be on the lookout for. Investigators say genealogical DNA was used to solve one of Indiana's biggest cold cases, the I-65 killer. Coming up, we're taking a closer look at how this technology works and why investigators say this method is becoming increasingly more popular to solve cold cases. An app used to help people find jobs is becoming a new tool for scammers. The tricks they are using on LinkedIn to steal your personal information. Plus, a creative new way to take the flavor of your beer on the go in your top five at five. The item Miller Lite just dropped in honor of National Beer Day. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. Whether you're a fan or not, it's hard to deny that's a good song. You're taking a live look over Wrigley this morning as Major League Baseball prepares to open their season, the Chicago Cubs. The home opener set for 2.20 p.m. against the Milwaukee Brewers. Mm. Some other regional games of note, Cleveland starting a new chapter in franchise history is the Guardians. They're on the road at 4 p.m. against the Kansas City Royals. The St. Louis Cardinals open their season at home against the Pittsburgh Pirates at 4 p.m. And tonight, the Cincinnati Reds take on the reigning World Series champions, the Atlanta Braves. That game is in ATL and set for 8.08 .08 p.m., not a minute before. Thanks a lot for tuning in. On this Thursday, I'm Scott Jones. And I'm Bert Baker. And for Lindy Thaxton, Jim's here. Alyssa Andrews filling in this morning, too. First morning show with yeah. us today. Yeah. So welcome Love again. I didn't even know. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> right. Hello. Who Surprise. is this person? Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> did you get your hair cut? I think it looks I good. I did, yeah. yeah, yeah I got it uh, got cut the yesterday. Nice so, yes, thank you. Thank you, yes. In honor of the warm-up that we're going to have yes. sometime next week. <laughs> uh, because we're talking snow chances here in the days ahead, guys. Uh, not much out there in the radar uh, to begin our morning. It is a dry start. We'll enjoy that for now. Just snow changes will get underway uh, throughout the afternoon. As you can certainly see, there are a few breaks in the clouds to begin our Thursday morning, but it will start to cloud back up. And a colder day ahead. Keep that in mind, especially in Chicago. They'll be dealing with a wintry mix throughout the afternoon. And eventually that air is headed here, it looks like, tomorrow and into our Saturday. Now, we're currently holding at 45. We'll continue to drop down a little bit more here before sunrise. And we're just not going to warm up that much today. Wind chills are in the 30s. You'll need that heavy coat heading out. And you can see our day planner, early sunshine, but then the clouds start to roll in and our rain chances start to return here for the afternoon. A high today that only tops out at 50 degrees, running well below average 
for this time of the year. We'll talk more about your Friday and Saturday. We'll kind of detail the entire weekend forecast actually coming up in a few minutes. All right, let's talk traffic right now. Let's just got the latest. All right, well, more good news to report every single corner of the map you look at. We're not looking at any slowdowns or crashes to report this morning. So great news there. If you want to take a live look outside, I-465 West 38th Street, things are moving along nicely. And we've got a few extra cars on the road this morning, but things are just kind of everyone's starting to wake up here. We did find you some gas prices for under $4 a gallon. I don't know how much of a victory that is, but take it for what it is. At Meyer, you can go in Franklin for $3.63 a gallon to fill up your tank. All the way down to Speedway in Greenfield, you can get your tank filled up for $3.66 a gallon there. Breaking overnight, Metro Police find a man shot in an alley in downtown Indianapolis. This happened in the 500 block of Hudson Street. That's not too far from Old National Center in Mass Ave. Police were called to the area just after midnight. They found a man lying in the street with gunshot wounds. He was taken to Eskenazi in critical but stable condition. IMPD says they are now looking for the car that took off from the scene. We don't know if it was a robbery or if it was a disagreement or what it was at this point. Detectives are on the scene. Uh, we have witnesses that actually observed uh, the incident. They were close. All right, police are saying the car of interest is a gray Chevy Malibu or Impala. They believe the driver was a black male who took off eastward. If you know anything about this, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. Indiana State Police release a new clue in the search for suspects in a deadly shooting on 465. They believe this car belongs to one of the suspects, Brienne Brown Jr. Police say he drives a black 2006 Mercedes. This picture comes from an IMPD traffic camera. Brown and Dewan Glenn Jr. both wanted for the shooting death of 28-year-old Miguel Emery. He was killed while driving on 465 back in December. Another man was also injured. Detectives have arrested one man in the case so far, Jacinto Carter, charged with murder and battery. If you know where Brown and Glenn Jr. are, please call 911. They are considered to be armed and dangerous. All right, after more than 30 years, investigators have identified the I-65 killer, and they're also crediting relatively new technology with solving the cold case. Our Lindsay Stone joining us now in the studio. She has basically more on how this investigative genealogy is helping solve some of the most difficult cases. This is such a cool topic. So if you're like me and grew up watching Forensic Files, then you know just the importance of DNA in solving a case. But it's not just fingerprints that can help investigators solve the case, but your own account of a genealogical website to find your ancestor. So it's called genealogical DNA, and the technology has been credited with solving Solving cases such as the I-65 killer, as Scott mentioned, the April Tinsley case, and the Golden State killer. Now, investigators take DNA found at crime scenes and run it through genealogical databases that include people's DNA from popular genealogical companies. Investigators then attempt to find a relative of the suspect and then use the family tree to find their suspect. Local forensic investigators say the DNA is only continuing to advance and get better. It's always amazing to me, thinking back when I was new and what we thought were the latest and greatest and, and how good we were at this. For genetic genealogy, it's looking at what samples that individuals have freely put up uh, on the websites, on the databases, that can be uh, matched to this unknown sample. And it doesn't have to be a 100% match, it can just be a very, very small portion. And then this leads to the identity of that individual that shared this profile. Experts say the technology is only continuing to advance and get better, and they say that solving cold cases could become much more common as this technology is used. So experts we spoke to say the technology, it does have its flaws. So for example, the genealogical databases still need to grow. Current databases have roughly 1.5 million samples in them. Experts say if that number reaches 3 million, nearly every single person in the population would be able to find a relative. Certainly a great process, but we know more can be done in the future. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News. Hey, Lindsay, thank you for that. In Cumberland, police say four teenagers are responsible for $20,000 worth of damage at the Lions Park there. It happened over the weekend. Police say the teens poured gasoline down a slide and then lit it on fire. They also set fire to a tennis court and spray painted over an expensive mural. And then on top of that, a $4,500 water fountain. They smashed that too. 
Officials say they were able to catch the teens, though, thanks to surveillance video from the public and help from their own parents who turned one of the suspects in. I've been here 15 years, and it's the single worst night of vandalism we've ever seen here in town. Well, the city was already in the process of beeping up security at the park before the vandalism, but now they face multiple setbacks. Officials say the teams do seem remorseful, but still police are talking to Hancock County prosecutors about the possibility of filing charges. Kind of sounds like the plot for a movie or a book. A million dollars, a seemingly happy marriage, and a mysterious shooting. Yeah, but coming up, the romance novelist now at the center of a real-life twisted case. The concerning article she wrote that have prosecutors convinced that she killed her husband. Plus, several artists have their YouTube accounts hacked. We're going to show you the strange post that had fans concerned. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the newscast, grab that heavy coat. You'll need it. Wind chills are in the 30s. A lot of dry time out there to begin our morning. That will change. Rain chances are back in throughout the afternoon and heading into the evening. And sharply colder air on the way tomorrow and Saturday. We'll take a look at those numbers coming up. An Indiana family who lost their son to opioids. Selected to speak to Purdue Pharma's Sackler family in court. You wanted to make sure the Sacklers heard that. Uh, absolutely. And I hope they hear it in their dreams at night. Why the family was not satisfied with their day in court. Justice was not served. Tonight on Fox 59 News at 10. Think spring, think patio furniture. And for a limited time, get 30% off. Sullivan Hardware and Garden and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan. Shop, play, experience. Spring with Sullivan's. Years ago, the Good Feet store put me in one of their TV commercials. I wasn't able to do something that I loved because of my foot pain. I wasn't able to go on hikes. I got these arch supports years ago and they're still kicking. They are still really helping and still making such a difference and I just want to clamor around on these rocks. Bounce around like a little billy goat. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm Moira and this is my Good Feet story. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. You're good at making big announcements. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. You can get your smile back today. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we make high-quality tooth replacement affordable for everyone. So whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or life-changing dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can help you go ahead and smile. Click or call to schedule your new smile consultation today. Go ahead and smile. Think Spring, Think Grills. Largest selection of Weber, Traeger, and Napoleon grills, along with a Big Green Egg, Sullivan Hardware and Garden, and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan. Shop, play, experience. Spring with Sullivan's. Five eleven right now happening today. The Senate expected to start voting on the confirmation of Supreme Court nomination for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Judge Jackson expected to have bipartisan support. Republicans Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, and Mitt Romney have said they will vote to confirm her. If confirmed, she'll be the first black woman to sit on the Supreme Court in U.S. history. Gas prices are slowly falling across the country, but they're still near record highs. On Capitol Hill yesterday, big oil executives testified saying they're not to blame despite making billions of dollars in profits. Leaders of the nation's six largest oil and gas companies, including Chevron and ExxonMobil, say high crude oil prices on the global market were behind the steep climb in the cost of gas. Democratic lawmakers accused the executives of war profiteering at the expense of consumers. Gas prices quickly rose in the weeks before and after Russia's invasion of Ukraine in late February. At a time of record profits,
Big Oil is refusing to increase production to provide the American people some much needed relief at the gas pump. Several of the companies testifying today told their shareholders that they would rather make money off high prices in the market than invest in additional oil production. Now, Republicans on the House panel blame President Biden's climate change policies and also cancellation of oil pipeline projects for the spike in gas prices. Well, new this morning, a romance novelist who wrote an essay titled How to Kill Your Husband is now accused of actually doing it. Listen to this story. 71-year-old Nancy Brophy has a collection of titles to her name, but it's the disturbing details in her 2011 essay that she's being remembered for now. The author is standing trial in Oregon in the shooting death of her 63-year-old husband, Daniel. Prosecutors say the motive was money. Nancy made claims on 10 separate life insurance policies in which she was the beneficiary of over $1.4 million. Hmm, well, prosecutors say Brophy followed her husband to work at the Oregon Culinary Institute and shot him. The defense argues Brophy is innocent and that the couple had a loving relationship. Brophy is expected to take the stand later this week. If you listen to podcasts, you are more likely to have an open mind, according to the experts, at least according to a new study from Queensland University of Technology. Researchers found people who regularly listen to podcasts are less neurotic, more open to new things, and more intellectually curious than those who do not. The study also found that men were also more likely to listen to a podcast than women. That data is consistent with other studies that found similar gender differences in podcast listening. Do you listen to any of the podcasts? You know, I... Not really. <laughs> I like to listen to the ones that are about, like, how did this happen? How was this made? You See, know if I'm going to listen things? to something, it's usually just music yeah. because I'm trying to get, like, hyped up or calm Ant. down or something. How about right. you, You know Jim? what I mean? Jim? Uh, I'm usually, yeah, I'm more of the music, uh, you know, around the house during the day. If I'm working outside, I, a podcast isn't going to motivate me very much. I know, listening to so. words. Hence the reason why I'm less neurotic than the two of you. Right. <laughs> So, what's your go-to oh. for podcasts then, Scott? I'd say it's like the ones that say what you can learn about. Okay. Yeah, there, there are several of those. Okay. Okay. I also like the BBC stuff. And Nova. Nova's got several. You now. do okay. talk about the BBC mm -hmm. stuff. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, good to know. Do you have like a little, do you do like the, the AirPods or what do you do there? No, the generally in the car. Okay. Generally in the car. You think around. he has AirPods? He has an iPhone 6, Jim. <laughs> That's true. That, that, I do have those wireless You are making a good point there. <laughs> that I do not use. You're correct. <laughs> Let's show you what's happening outside, guys. Thursday morning, uh, after a day that brought us rain yesterday and then dry conditions by the afternoon. Today, dry in the morning. Rain chances throughout the afternoon. Not much wind out there, but a heads up, it will turn quite breezy, if not gusty, throughout the day today. And we'll have rain chances starting to increase in coverage, it looks like, around lunchtime today and taking us into the afternoon. I still think we make it through the morning rush hour dry. There are indications there might be one or two showers down across southern Indiana to begin our morning, but overall the state looks pretty quiet. We're still tracking that snow, by the way, out across the upper Midwest, and some of that energy is headed here, it looks like, tomorrow and Saturday. It is going to get colder here in the days ahead, and we're going to have this area of low pressure, really a cutoff load, just kind of sit and spin around the Ohio Valley, and that's going to throw not only rain chances, but eventually rain and snow showers back into the forecast. Now the wind's up a little bit outside as we're holding at 45 and that is generating wind chills now down into the 30s. It feels like 36 in Kokomo, 39 our current wind chill in Indy. So grab the heavy coat, keep that umbrella handy. You'll need it certainly throughout the afternoon. You can see our rain chances around. Could see a little bit of grapple later on today or at least some ice pellets it looks like heading into the evening. There are the rain chances. They will start to die down as we lose the daytime heating and then fire back up it looks like for tomorrow. And tomorrow and into Saturday we'll have that better chance of snow chances mixing in as well. Highs today struggling. I think we get up to about 50 here in downtown. Uh, we'll start to dry out a little bit going into the late evening here. And then we'll start to see another push of rain in that wintry mix tomorrow. But 41 by 11 o'clock tonight. We'll slide down into the lower 30s early tomorrow morning. Roadways could be a little damp or wet tomorrow morning. Rain chances continue, mixing in with some wet snow, it looks like at times on our Friday. Highs tomorrow struggling. 
may only get up into the upper 30s, it looks like, in a lot of communities on our Friday. That's going to be the trend on Saturday as well. You can certainly see Saturday might have at least a slight chance of some grassy accumulations here with the snow chances on Saturday. It will come to an end, though, Saturday night. And we finally start to warm things back up, it looks like, on Sunday. And a bigger push of warmth gets in here, it looks like. And you can certainly see that ridge extending all the way out into Canada. That's a lot of warmth on the way, it looks like, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Here is the, uh, here is the seven day forecast and those numbers now. 42 degrees are high tomorrow, 40 on Saturday. Heading into Sunday, 62. Big jump on Sunday. And a lot of warmth on our way, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Limited shower chances as it looks like on Monday and Tuesday. Alyssa? Good news is no heavy traffic to report. Things are moving along nicely as you head out the door this morning. And if we take a look here at 465, things are uh, all green on the speed sensors this morning. I-465 and the Sam Jones Expressway starting to see a little bit more activity picking up, but no slowdowns at the moment. Visibility is all good, so you won't have any issues seeing on the roadways this morning. Looks like drive times are all normal as you head out the door. If you're going um, eastbound from the airport to the south split, that's just a nine-minute commute, and it looks like all of our speeds are running normally this morning. All right, Alyssa, Alyssa thank, thank you. you. Ah, I was first. <laughs> Children. I, by the way, I looked it up because I actually could not remember the name of that podcast. Because mm -hmm. I said, you know, stuff you should learn. It's called Stuff You Should Know. Hence why you always know random stuff. <laughs> yeah, and that was the actual name of it. And I think it's the number one. I just typed in okay. podcast learning. And that's what uh, showed up. And our it's producer really cool. Mal is trying to give me some tips on stuff I would like, like what? because I'm like, like what? well, she's giving me like inter. <laughs> well, first she said like something like interesting presidential facts, <laughs> and I was like, girl, I like something that's more entertainment. She's <laughs> like, hold on one second, I got you. So she's looking that up right now. So Thomas Jefferson, that's hmm. fascinating. <laughs> Hey, 519 right now is considered the birthplace of the Beatles. The hospital? No. Paul McCartney's childhood home is opening its doors to young musicians. Ahead in your top five at five, hope organizers have for this famous property. And your dog or cat may be cute, but are they cute enough to be an influencer? The number of pet owners trying to get their animal to go viral on social media. This game may look like just a bunch of words, but the cable news media know better. Their spin and division pits one side against the other. The end game is a deep distrust in the news. At News Nation, we hold ourselves to a higher standard. Fact-based news you can trust. See why more people are turning to the fastest growing cable news network and coming back to the news. News Nation. News for all America. When you've been seriously injured in an accident, you have only one opportunity. Make it count. I wanted more. I knew I deserved more. Keller and Keller. Call 1-800-2-KELLER. Keller and Keller. 1-800-2-KELLER. Tomwood Volkswagen reminds you distracted driving is dangerous driving. Don't be a danger on the road. Go to Tomwood.com and take the pledge not to be a distracted driver and make Indiana roads safer for everyone. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. At Family Leisure. Make a splash with America's largest pool and spa dealer. Don't miss out this summer. Buy your new pool today. Hundreds of pools in stock now. Save $2,000 or more on our top selling spas. Fast professional delivery and installation on all spas. Check out this season's hottest patio furniture designs. Save on high quality professionally installed swing sets. Also on sale, saunas, tanning beds, chemicals, toys, and accessories. Your one stop shop for family fun. Spring sale going on right now at Family Leisure. This spring, you can spend your free time at the best place to be a kid, Chuck E. Cheese. There's super fun games, awesome prizes, and more. School's out and fun is in at the Springtastic Celebration, only at Chuck E. Cheese. Since Monday, count on Fox 59's Chief Meteorologist, Brian Wilkes. When you've been seriously injured in an accident, you have only one opportunity. One opportunity to get this right. 
Call 1-800-2-KELLER. Keller and Keller. Right now. 1-800-2-KELLER. 522 and time for your top five at five. There is an exciting new movie coming out, but most people on Earth right now will not be able to see it. Yeah, we probably never will because uh, the release date is 93 years from now. Wow. Take a look. It'll be 104. In 2015, I, John Malkovich, shot a film which will be held for 100 years. The time required to create Louis XIII. It's an advertisement for mm. booze, is it not? <laughs> it seems like it. Well, John Malkovich has collaborated with Louis the Thirteenth Cognac to create mm. an experimental movie that will not be released until 2115. The short film imagines what Earth would be like 93 years from now. It's essentially a promotion from Cognac, which also takes 100 years to age properly before it's sold to its customers. And it is expensive, but mm -hmm. it's also very pretty, the bottle. So it is. It's probably worth that. Yeah. Now this. At number four, The Weeknd just dropped a new music video for his single, Out of Time. It's a song he'll likely be performing at Coachella next weekend. He's taking over the headliner spot for Kanye West, or Ye, who dropped out of the music festival over the weekend. Now, The Weeknd and Swedish House Mafia will headline both Sundays of the festival in Indio, California. That's, All right, so that's, that's Ye good. dropped out over the weekend, and we got The Weeknd. <laughs> Look at that. You, should, cool. write, He's you good. should write stories. That was gold. He's good. I agree. <laughs> hey, coming in at number three, a new study reveals one out of every four pet owners hopes to turn their dog or cat into an influencer. Really? They'll post funny videos and pictures online and in many cases even create their pet's own Instagram profiles. The goal is to turn their pets into social media sensations like, you remember Grumpy Cat? Mm hmm Many admit their pet's profile has more followers than their own. That's usually the case. But you got to be annoying your pets if you're just constantly sticking a phone on their I'm face until sure they, they say they something love or the do something well. Actually. I don't know. They're probably like, ooh, attention. Point a phone at a dog and they look at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> Number two right now, it's National Beer Day. Miller Lite is celebrating by making sure all the other beers taste more like theirs. You can now buy Miller Lite beer drops similar to Mio, which enhances water flavor. These drops enhance your beer, they say. Miller Light says light beer should not taste like water, so adding their beer drops to other light brews will enhance the flavor with the taste of a fine Pilsner. The first batch of beer drops is already sold out, but Miller Light says more will go on sale today. That's so weird. You just buy your regular beer. You know what I mean? If you want Miller Light, you buy Miller Light. Mm. Just saying. Mm -hmm. It's good advertising. We're talking about it. Good job on their part. Finally, at number one, the next generation of budding musicians has a new place to create and play in. Yeah, the childhood home of music legend Sir Paul McCartney opening its doors and allowing unsigned artists the ability to write, rehearse, and perform in the famous property. It's where the Beatles frontman began his career with bandmate John Lennon. McCartney's brother is helping to spearhead the initiative. Inviting young people to this house and giving them the opportunity of uh, doing the same, coming from nothing like us and seeing where it takes them. This house to me is a house of hope. Well, the home in Liverpool, England is considered the birthplace of the Beatles. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is neat. I'm sure a lot of artists would be like, heck yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm feeling the ambiance from Paul. Still mm -hmm. ahead, 526, a move to censor employees after unionization efforts. The ban that Amazon now plans to put on certain words in its messaging apps. A new program starts today meant to spread awareness about distracted driving and keep people safe on the road. I'm Eric Pointer this morning why you'll see more patrollers on the road. Go on, find a new view, go all in. Lose your shorts. Fall in love. Go all the way up there. Take the long way back. Go, go, go. Till you have to stop. Go on a real vacation. Wow. No braces. Everything's hands-free. I wasn't so lucky. 
Invis is not your parents' braces. Invis is faster than braces and the clear aligner brand most trusted by doctors. Invisalign. You can be your best friend with you and I'd love to have you stay. This house is yours and mine. This? You can always come around. Yeah. It's going to work. I think so too. American Family Insurance wants to help you bring your dream home to life. New homeowners can save an average of 22%. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. And it seems that I can see. This isn't just a song. It's an anthem for a community of millions that has turned the melody into its mantra. And this May, it's the tune that's calling us to come back together again. To come back to the spectacle. To come. Back home again in Indiana Then I long for My Blake Dining Set, your choice only $5.99. Table with leaf and your choice of six chairs or four chairs and bench with storage. Plus your choice of three finishes. With Bob's discount, it's still only $5.99 no matter what you choose. Want even more choice? Get my Blake Counter Height Dining Set. Still a table with leaf and six chairs or four chairs and storage bench. Again, in your choice of three finishes. With Bob's discount, only $5.99. Now how am I going to tie my shoes? Shop what's in stock, in store, or at mybobs.com. Join Beer Show Edme on Fox 59 News Point at 11. Here are the top stories we're working on at this hour. Police in Nevada say foul play is not suspected in the mysterious disappearance of an Indianapolis couple. Authorities found Ronnie Barker dead and his wife Beverly alive in a mountain area Sunday. They were about two miles away from the RV they had been driving in. The couple had been driving from California to Arizona when they disappeared late last month. Millions of Americans could be experiencing what's known as long COVID. That's when people experience a range of new or returning COVID-19 symptoms weeks after first being infected. President Biden directed government agencies to take additional steps to research and treat long COVID. The government will also expand a nationwide network, uh, network of long COVID clinics, along with a new initiative to get more feedback from people living with long COVID. The cost of air travel is expected to skyrocket in the next month, according to Hopper's Consumer Airfare Index report. Flight prices are projected to increase by another 10% through May. That would make the average cost of a domestic trip about $360. The airfare price has already jumped by 40% since the start of the year. The increase comes as more people take to the skies for long-awaited trips over the spring and summer. Well, if you're heading to Disney World, you can save some money if you subscribe to Disney Plus starting July 8th. Disney Plus subscribers can receive up to 25% off on select rooms at Disney Resorts in Florida. You'll need to have a My Disney Experience account and link that uh, that to your Disney Plus account. You'll also be able to enter the theme parks 30 minutes early as part of Disney World's 50th anniversary celebrations. That offer ends September 30th. 531, welcome back. I'm Britt Baker in for Lindy Thaxton. And I'm Scott Jones. Makes me almost want to go to Disney. I already have an account, so might as well get something yeah, so out of I. it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you got to buy a plane ticket, which you haven't done yet, Scott. And if you just. I know. We just talked about it. I know. I know. I got to get, get on. Way up. I'm also trying to time it out with Sarah because, you know, she goes with me. And that's right. kind of different. You know, when you have different schedules, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I get it. I yeah. get it. Let's so would that be your destination? I know you talked about maybe heading back out to Washington State. Yeah, that I am doing going out doing there for too. family stuff. So right. it's not going to be the same thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there you what go. What is a typically a round trip ticket to, to? It's more expensive because not as many places fly out to Northwest. About right. $400. If you get them real early. That's not bad. You, you might round be able trip? to get them. 400? Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. I, but you can get them down to Florida for like 150 bucks well, or something. You could.
could. I haven't found <laughs> any lately, but you could. Yeah. Maybe right. really un. It's a, place one way. <laughs> one way. <laughs> You're not coming right. back. <laughs> You're not coming back. <laughs> All right, 5:32, guys. Hey, heading out right now. We are dealing with uh, a drive start, which is good, but it's chilly out there. Wind chills are in the 30s, uh, so the morning rush hour should be pretty quiet. But then we'll start to bring in rain chances uh, throughout late morning and into the afternoon. It's going to turn a bit unsettled here later on today. Uh, you can see not much out there on the radar at this hour. Actually, we should enjoy a little limited sunshine today, although it's going to be rather overcast at times uh, throughout the afternoon and just not much warming today. 45 our current reading here in downtown. Wind chills are in the 30s, as I mentioned. And looking at our day planner, a high today that only tops out at 50 degrees. Kind of an odd day. We'll have really strong wind gusts later on this afternoon. Rain, and then sometimes we'll see a peak of sunshine. Actually, could see a few flashes of lightning later on this afternoon as well. So a lot going on. Uh, a much colder pattern on the way it looks like heading into tomorrow and into our Saturday. We'll have details on that coming up. Over to you, Alyssa. All right. We are looking ahead to, well, gosh, I hate that it's got to be so cold outside, but at least if it's got to be, we have some clear ways on the road conditions as you head out the door this morning. We've got all green on our speed sensors, so nothing to report there. No major crashes going on this morning, and it looks like traffic is moving along nicely on 465 and Sam Jones Expressway. Looking at visibility, all clear, 10 miles visibility. That means you're going to be having an easy time seeing on the roads this morning. And all of our drive times, just about a 10-minute commute if you are heading from eastbound airport to the south split. So we're running at speeds close to 70 miles an hour this morning. Hey, Alyssa, thank you for that. Well, changes being made to a bus stop on the east side after seven-year-old Sevion Sanford was killed when he was hit by two different vehicles last month. It happened near the Warren Harbor Apartments on East 21st Street. We've learned property management and Warren Township Schools collaborated to move the bus stop away from that busy road. They also had yellow lines painted to stop cars from parking where the buses will pick up and drop off students. The community needs to really just slow down and watch out for these kids. If y'all see a bus stop, it's for a reason. The bus stop should be in the neighborhood. The bus is like, we have to find a way for buses to turn around and make it as safe as possible for our kids. Officials say they're still looking for one of those vehicles that hit Sevion. It was a light colored sedan. Anyone that knows any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Happening today, law enforcement is taking part in an event to kick off Distracted Driving Awareness Month. So you'll notice a lot more officers patrolling the roadways. Our Eric Pointer is joining us now live out near 465, sharing the message officers have for drivers. Eric, good morning. Well, good morning. So they want you to know that it just takes a moment of looking down at your phone while driving to hurt someone or even claim a life. The new initiative is called Connect to Disconnect campaign. Several local police departments are taking part right here in central Indiana. The goal is to spread awareness, educate drivers, and reduce the number of crashes caused by distracted drivers. It's a split second for all distracted for something to change. People don't realize how much they're covering in ground and distance when they're traveling down the roadway and how quickly you travel the length of a football field when you didn't even realize you were looking way that long. In 2020, Indiana passed the hands-free driving law. It makes it illegal to even be holding your phone while driving. Since then, police have issued more than 6,000 citations and almost twice as many warnings last year alone. And officials say that violations for this violating this law could result in fines of up to $500 per offense. Live here on the Northwest Side, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News. Eric, thank you. Scammers are now using LinkedIn to go after your personal information. The Better Business Bureau is warning about criminals posing as potential employers and then offering jobs that never really materialize. These scammers encourage a person to apply for a job after uploading a resume. That person is then asked to share their address, their social security number. You can see where this is going. In other cases, the person might be hired, quote unquote, then asked to pay up for training and other expenses. Do so up front. Here are a few ways you can protect yourself. Set your privacy settings to limit who can send requests. Do not accept every request and ask to talk on the phone instead. Well, if you're on the hunt for a new job, there are more than 800 jobs available right now in Boone County. Today, there will be a career fair to connect applicants with potential employers. 
It's from 5.30 to 7 p.m. at the Boone County Fairgrounds. The event inside the Witham Pavilion. Dozens of companies will be there doing on-site interviews. The list includes Amazon, GXO Logistics, and the County Highway Department. You're asked to bring a few copies of your resume and a valid driver's license or ID card. 5.37 and still ahead, a unique grand opening for a sports bar on the West Coast. <laughs> Coming, in, uh, coming up, we'll take you inside the sports bra where you won't have to ask the servers to turn on the women's game. And it is finally happening. Twitter announcing plans to implement that edit button when you can start seeing it on your account. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Attention, attention, parking lot spa sale at Family Leisure. Over 500 spas in stock, ready for immediate delivery. There's never been a better time to buy. Buy today, enjoy it right away. Free upgrades on most spas. Parking lot spa sale, going on right now at Family Leisure. Indiana's best dinosaur experience just got way bigger. Step back in time at the Children's Museum and stand beneath the soaring giants of the Jurassic. Confront the creatures of the Cretaceous. From the tiny to the tyrannical, explore beneath the ancient oceans and meet the monsters of the Mesozoic seas. The prehistoric past just got way closer and way bigger at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Do you know the fastest growing cable news network in America? I'll give you a hint. It's News Nation. We're new and we're different. At News Nation, we are telling stories that matter to you and your family. And people are taking notice. If you're watching News Nation, we thank you. Now tell your friends. If you're looking for news without the noise, come back to something different. Come back to the news the way it used to be. Tell your friends why. News Nation is news for all America. Panera chefs have crafted a masterpiece. Succulent seared chicken, a secret aioli, clean ingredients in a buttery brioche roll made fresh to leave you speechless. Panera's new chef's chicken sandwiches. Enjoy a free drink when you try one. Nobody likes a cold shower, so when the hot water goes out, you want it fixed fast and right. L.D. Smith has hot deals on water heaters. Call today and save up to $300 on a new water heater installed. L.D. Smith Plumbing! A dirty, stinking honest. That's a pretty tight spot. Watch this. Your Buick wrecks itself. That's so you. Of course you know where we're going. That's so you. Kinda got a six cents. And a head-up display. <laughs> They're here. You brought all these players in your Buick? Yep. So you. It is. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Pay no interest on Buick SUV models. Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Welcome to Fox 59 News at 10. We have Catch Dan Spieler on Fox 59 News at 10. All right, good Thursday morning off to a dry beginning. Wind chills are in the 30s here. And to begin our day, so a chilly start. It's going to be cool throughout the afternoon and quite gusty as well. Highs struggle only up to 50 later on this afternoon. Normally this time of the year, our afternoon high is at 61. Hey, Jim, thank you. Just turning 541, a full circle moment at Hinkle Fieldhouse this week. The Butler basketball program welcomed its next head coach, but he really didn't need much of an introduction. Thad Mata will take over the role for the second time in 22 years. The Bulldog alum was assistant coach before taking over the top spot for just one season. But in that time, Butler went 24-8, and eight, became conference tournament champs, and got a win in NCAA tournament play. After that, it was on to Xavier and then Ohio State before stepping down for health reasons in 2017. Mata took a small step back into the game last season with a role on Mike Woodson's staff at IU, and now he's back where it all started. It's unique when, when you think about it in, in terms of, of the coaching cycle. Um, I, I, I feel blessed to have this opportunity. You know, not very many guys get to do this, especially at their alma mater. It means the world to be back here, and, and um, i I just excited to get going. Well, Mata said he was waiting for the perfect circumstance to jump back into head coaching full-time, and when he got the call from Butler, 
He knew that was it. All right, now to Muncie. Ball State also introducing a new head basketball coach. Former IU guard Michael Lewis is replacing James Whitford. The Jasper native knows the state's love for basketball and is ready to put the Cardinals back on the map. Lewis has some big goals for the Cardinals and says he will not waste any time. That's my biggest weakness. Uh, you can ask my family. <laughs> um, I'm not real patient. Um, and, and, and I didn't come here to be patient. You know, that, uh, being patient would be, you know, that's a, that's a slap in the face to, to these guys that are sitting here that are players. Like, hey, I want to win in four years. Well, what about them, right? I mean, they're here for a reason. Um, they've, they've committed to stay here, try to chase championships, chase their dreams. They believe that I can help them do that. Um, so, no, I don't have time for patience. Since his days in Bloomington, Lewis spent time coaching at Butler, Nebraska, and most recently UCLA, but this is his first head coaching job. New this morning, a sports bar in Portland, Oregon, putting female athletes at the forefront. Everything inside is made for and by women, from the food to the beer, furniture, the games they're playing on TV. It's called the sports bra. And you won't have to ask them, hey, can you turn on the women's games? Because on every single monitor, you'll find women's basketball, hockey, tennis, swimming, softball, soccer, golf, all of it. It's just so excited. Jenny's a good friend of ours, and we've been waiting for the stay, so we're happy to be here. I'm super excited for Jenny, and I think, yeah, this is something the community really needs. Well, the Jenny they're referring to is the owner. She was able to open the sports bra thanks to the help of her Portland community. They raise more than $100,000 on Kickstarter to get the place up and running. While the bar celebrates women and girls of all ages, guys can go too. If you guys ever go to Portland and want to like chill the, at the sports bra. I just like the look on Jim's face. <laughs> <Is it a, laughs> I'm not going to play the bra. bra. It's a bar, but it's called bra, like, not like sup bra, but like bra. B R A, B R A, a bra that you wear. We don't listen to thing, you. Are you saying sports bar or sports bra? It wasn't and a I was typo. Like, are you, okay. It was not a typo. It was it was sports bra, like the. Yeah. Okay. Don't say we never wear. listen to you. Just there's okay. no confusion. No, I was at listening. I was bar. just not <laughs> picking up on it. It was in there, bra. Exactly. I wonder how they're going to do. Yeah. I'm sure they'll do well. Yeah. We'll we'll do a follow up. Right. I mean, sports. No, it's good. I would, in a bar? Yeah. I mean, that well, goes hand in hand, right? Like in terms of soccer right now, I'd much rather watch uh, ladies soccer than guys. Right. They're doing so much better. Are they doing well this year? I don't know. They're Are they in a tournament right now well. or something? Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys know how much I follow on. sports. Right. 544, guys. Ooh, what you got over there? Let's, uh, let's show you what's happening out the door right now. Uh, grab that coat. You'll need it. And keep the umbrella in the back seat. I mean, we've had a rain chance every day. Uh, this week and no change for today. Although dry now, we will start to bring back rain chances. It looks like around lunchtime today and then taking us into the afternoon. Not much out there in the radar right now. The morning rush hour should stay dry and the clouds are clear for now. So we'll try to enjoy some early sunshine. Just know that clouds will start to thicken up a little bit throughout the afternoon and just another unsettled day here and cooler weather on the way for today as well. Tracking snow out towards the northern plains and the upper Midwest, and that will be shifting off towards the south and southeast. As it does, that low is going to track right across the Ohio Valley and bring us not only colder weather, but a chance of that wintry mix tomorrow and heading into it looks like Saturday as well. So getting colder in the days ahead. That wind is starting to pick up as well as we're holding at 45. So we're in the 40s now, but wind chills are in the 30s in a lot of locations. And it will turn quite gusty throughout the afternoon. Could see wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour as we'll have rain showers around. Could see a little bit of grapple or ice pellets as well uh, throughout the afternoon, evening, maybe even a rumble of thunder around. So a lot going on for today as we're making that transition into colder weather, it looks like, over the next 24 to 48 hours. Highs today. Topping out at about 50 here in downtown later on tonight. Still a bit unsettled, at least at 7 o'clock tonight. Might dry out for a little while here, heading into the deeper hours of the evening. By 11 o'clock, we'll be at 41. Now, early tomorrow morning, I think we wake up to light rain and drizzle. At least something out there on the radar. And then could see that wintry mix returning for tomorrow afternoon. Although the better chances actually get here tomorrow night and into early on Saturday morning. So we could see a light dusting 
of uh, snowfall it looks like in the grassy areas on Saturday and highs that will struggle to reach about 40 it looks like on Saturday afternoon. You can see that colder flow of air but that will give way to sunshine and dry conditions on Sunday and a lot of warmth on the way. Hang in there. We're going to have to get through the weekend. This could be winter's last stand here uh, as we start to really warm things back up. It looks like heading into early next week. 40 on Saturday. That's it for a high. There's that wintry mix as I mentioned tomorrow and Saturday. Going into Sunday, 62, and we're back to the mid-70s by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. All right, let's get up there. Traffic right now, nice and dry out there. Uh, we, Alyssa's got the latest. I almost said Britt, <laughs> then I was going to say Amber. Alyssa. And I'm trying to talk about weather this yeah. morning. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? I'm trying really hard to avoid filling my car up because it's cost me 70 bucks the last few times I've done it, but I did find some gas prices for you that are around 360 per gallon. So in Franklin, if you're heading to Meyer there, you can get your car filled up for $3.63 a gallon, and then it goes up to $3.66 in the Shelbyville Circle K and also Speedway in Greenfield. So these are pricier, but these are actually some of the lower ones across central Indiana and kind of in the Indianapolis area. There's a live look at I-465 in the Sam Jones Expressway, so we have no major delays or crashes to report right now. It looks like all of our drive times are running normally, so if you're heading northbound on 65 from Greenwood, County Line Road, you're going to be running around 70 miles an hour. Hey, Alyssa, thank you for that. What are you we'll doing? I was reading the next script. Oh, I thought you are looking at your new minivan possibilities. Oh, I do have that up, too. <laughs> but I was reading the day planner coming That's up. That's a nice one. It doesn't even look like a minivan. Well, it looks a little more like an SUV. Like a crossover. Anyway. Kind of. All right, go ahead. We should probably continue with All the right. show. Still ahead, Amazon <laughs> makes a move to censor its workers. Yeah, the words they will no longer be able to use. Yeah, the words on internal messaging apps. We got a couple words we love to use in here. They are happy birthday. Fox 50 you know, wants to wish this person a happy birthday. Today we have a shout out for Cole Taylor. What up, my man? Your family says happy fifth birthday to our Cole man. See, I just called him man, and they called him man. Cole man. It's weird. Symbiosis. Anyway, it goes on to say we hope your day is filled with tons of fun and is as awesome as you are. We love you, bud. From mom, dad, Robbie, and Ryan. Well, hopefully he's still sleeping in and just recording this so he can watch it when he wakes up later. Happy birthday, Cole. If you want to send a birthday wish to someone special, just go to fox59.com slash happy birthday, post their name, date, picture, the date of their special day, and we'll try and get it on the air, and Scott will read it. We Great. We celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Respectful, simple, sensible Indiana Funeral Care. If you're a small business, there are lots of choices when it comes to your internet and technology needs. But when you choose Comcast Business Internet, you choose the largest, fastest, reliable network. You choose advanced security, and you choose fiber solutions with speeds up to 10 gigs to the most small businesses. Make your business future ready with the network from the most innovative company. Get started with internet for $30 a month with no annual contract required. Plus, ask how to get a $650 prepaid card with a qualifying gig bundle. Okay, so why use Toyota service centers? Well, you wouldn't use just any carpenter, would you? This thing working? Oh, I'm never getting out of here. No. Right. Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. Toyota. Let's go places. Okay, let's start with some clouds. Some mountains over there. And finally, a river. He did. What? Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with the Travel Peace of Mind package. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. This spring, you can spend your free time at the best place to be a kid. Chuck E. Cheese. There's super fun games, awesome prizes, and more. School's out and fun is in. At the Springtastic Celebration, only at Chuck E. Cheese. 
552, it's time for your Central Indiana Day Planner. Chick-fil-A is opening a brand new location on Indy's Far East Side. The Cumberland franchise is set to open its doors this morning. It's located in the Cherry Tree Shopping Plaza right in front of the Best Buy and Marshalls. Normally Chick-fil-A gives free food to the first 100 customers, but this time they're giving free Chick-fil-A for a year to 100 local first responders and healthcare heroes. That's a good idea. Chick-fil-A is also donating $25,000 to local food banks. Well, it's Thirsty Thursday at Victory Field. You can get deals on all drinks from fountain soda to draft beer. The Indians set to play a doubleheader today. Yesterday's game against the Omaha Storm Chasers was postponed for rain. An evening game, though, set for 6.05 p.m. The second game will start 30 minutes after the first game ends. Your ticket is good for both games, by the way. Spring into something new at the Sycamore at Mallow Run the Shopping Center and Winery is hosting 80s Trivia Night. It is from 6 to 8.30 p.m. You can play in teams of up to four people. Cost $20 to reserve a team table. There will be drink specials and food trucks on site. The top three teams will take home prizes. Now, Alyssa has an update on what's happening on the roads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're heading to the airport this morning. Here's some drive times for you. If you're heading westbound from downtown to the airport, just 13 minutes to get where you need to be. If you're coming from Fishers, that's going to take you a good half hour there. And then 18 minutes from Greenwood to the airport, traveling westbound. So average speeds right there are in the low to mid 60s. All right, a chilly start. Alyssa out the door right now. We're in the low 40s here to begin our morning, which is pretty close to where we should be this time of the year. Wind chills are in the 30s, but a much cooler day shaping up. We'll time out the rain chances today and a look ahead to that weekend forecast in the next hour. Jim, thank you. New this morning, Amazon is reportedly considering blocking and flagging certain words on a new messaging app for workers. According to The Intercept, internal company documents reveal words such as union, slave labor, and restrooms will be blocked by an automatic word monitor. Restroom is an apparent reference to reports of Amazon employees relieving themselves in bottles to meet punishing quotas. Back in November, Amazon executives discussed plans to create an internal social media program that would let employees recognize a coworker's performance with posts called shout outs. Now this. Well, a few of the world's biggest music stars woke up this week to find their YouTube channels were hacked. Justin Bieber, Drake, Eminem, Harry Styles, just a few of those affected. The profiles were filled with bizarre and like random videos. Many featured this guy, Paco Sanz, a Spanish con man playing the guitar. Apparently he was boasting, putting his own Twitter handle in the title of the videos too. Those videos have since been deleted and YouTube says the musicians profiles have been secured and that incident resolved. All right. Twitter users have been asking for this for so many years, and it appears that it is finally happening. An edit button. The company announcing it is working to allow users to edit their tweets after they post them. That means you'll be able to fix a typo or some kind of a minor mistake without having to delete the entire tweet and start again. It's not exactly clear how this will work yet, but Twitter says they will start testing the feature with Twitter Blue subscribers in the coming coming months. Well, the company behind Fortnite introducing some cool new technology. Epic Games just launched a new app that can turn everyday objects 3D. Reality Scan is available in limited beta for iPhones right now. It lets you use your camera's phone to scan an object and then turn it into a 3D object for the game or project or maybe someday the metaverse. The app is being limited to 10,000 testers right now. Creators say an Android version too is coming soon. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Much more ahead on Fox 59 Morning News at 6. Yeah, if you're having a hard time falling asleep, there may be a new solution coming up. A new study shows eating specific foods could give you the best night's rest. We'll tell you what you should be eating. And have you ever wanted to cook with beer but didn't know how? At 6.40, we head to Kylie's Kitchen to discuss some ways you can incorporate it. Oh, that looks good. Didn't it? Yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> well, if you have a pet, they could be making you sick, unfortunately. The type of bacteria researchers say your dog or cat could be giving you.
Closed captioning is sponsored by Terry Lee Hyundai on Highway 37 in Noblesville. This weekend, it's Soccer Saturday on Fox. First, the U.S. Women's National Team take the pitch as they gear up for World Cup qualifying against Uzbekistan. Then, the next chapter of El Trafico awaits. Chicharito scores! As Chicharito leads the galaxy against Carlos Vela and LAFC. It all starts Saturday at 5 Eastern on Fox. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. Life's been hard enough, especially when you're struggling with depression. So I did some research, took a questionnaire, and talked to my doctor. I'm taking my antidepressant, but I still feel stuck. Adding Rexulti could help. When added to an antidepressant, Rexulti was proven to reduce depression symptoms 62% more than the antidepressant alone. So you can stay on your current treatment and keep moving forward. Rexulti can cause serious side effects. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Antidepressants may increase suicidal thoughts and worsen depression in those under 25. Call your doctor about fever, stiff muscles, and confusion, which could be life-threatening, or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. Increased cholesterol, weight gain, high blood sugar, decreased white blood cells, unusual urges, dizziness on standing, seizures, trouble swallowing may occur. I'm glad my doctor helped me take another step towards managing my depression. When depression sets you back, keep moving forward. Make an appointment to talk to your doctor about adding Rexulti to your antidepressant. Pat Sullivan here from Sullivan Hardware and Garden and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan. Our stores are blooming with perennials, annuals, shrubs, trees, and much more. We're your grilling headquarters with Weber, Traeger, and Napoleon Grills, along with the Big Green Egg. We specialize in excellent quality, mid-priced patio furniture. Wicker, Berlin Gardens Poly, cast aluminum, teak, and more. For a limited time, 30% off all patio furniture. Shop, play, experience. Spring with Sullivan's. For weather authority forecasts all day long, listen to Q95, Indy's Classic Rock. Police are cracking down on distracted driving. It's part of a new program that starts today. I'm Eric Winter, and coming up this morning, I'll share the message that officers have for you when you're driving. And a Warren Township bus stop moved three weeks after a deadly crash involving a seven-year-old. The steps the school district and a nearby apartment complex are taking to make sure it doesn't happen again. Man's best friend could also be harmful. The new study that shows cats and dogs are actually giving you harmful bacteria. Plus, it's opening day for Major League Baseball. We take a look at all the matchups happening around our region. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. All right, as the saying goes, April showers are wet. And they bring Mayflowers. Another day with rain earlier in the day before clearing out, but the end is in sight, apparently, in terms of precipitation. Right. When's that going to be? Good morning. I'm Scott Jones. I'm Brett Baker. And for Lindy Thaxton, Jim O'Brien's here, too. He's like, what? I'm confused. <laughs> what? What happened there? I don't know. What was that whole paragraph? I think they said the end is in sight. Yeah. I think that so the end of what? Oh, by Sunday. The, so the three like or four days. End. Right, yeah. So, so August, it's going to be great. Right, exactly. <laughs> Let's talk about the month of April. We're only one week into it right now, and right. it has been quite chilly. We're running nearly three degrees below average for the entire month. Although, even though it seems rather wet, we're still running a quarter of an inch below average in rainfall so far. Now, of course, we'll add to that again today. More rain on the way, it looks like, throughout this afternoon. This is a live looking guarding radar. Not much out there now, but that will change. Grab the umbrella. You'll need it throughout the late morning, early afternoon. Rain chances around. A lot of wind as well. It's going to be quite gusty throughout the afternoon. And we're still tracking snow chances, it looks like, in the days ahead. Now, we're at 42. We've dropped down three degrees here in the past hour. Wind chills are down to 37. Feels like 34 in Kokomo and 39, the current wind chill in Bloomington. So a much cooler day on the way. 
If we see any sunshine likely early at sunrise, we'll start to see these clouds increase and those rain chances going up. Again, gusty today. Could see wind gusts up to about 40 miles an hour. We'll talk more about that wintry mix tomorrow and Saturday coming up. Alyssa, over to you. All right. Well, it's been nothing but smooth sailing on the roads this morning. All of our speed sensors are still turning up green. As you take a look out the door this morning, we don't have any major crashes to report right now, so that is good news. On the 465 Sam Jones Expressway, things are moving along nicely. We're adding a few more cars into the mix as people start to get their days going here. It is Thursday in our drive times. All looking good to go, at least on these ones. We've got about 10 minute commutes if you are heading eastbound from I 865 to Allisonville Road. Your average speed time is going to be 66 miles an hour. If you're going to the airport, heading eastbound to the south split on Interstate 70, our average speed there is 69 miles an hour. And it's going to take you about 10 minutes to get there. Scott? Alyssa, thank you. We continue to follow some breaking news from this morning. IMPD is investigating a shooting off of Hudson Street that happened just after midnight. Police are sharing that it could be related to a marijuana deal. Officers say an adult male was found shot and was taken to a local hospital in serious condition, but also say he is, quote, stable. A witness who saw the encounter says the suspect vehicle fled the scene in a gray Chevy Impala or maybe a Malibu, and officers believe it is headed to the east side. Well, a mother files a wrongful death claim against the Indiana Department of Child Services following the murder of her son. Court records show Nakota Kelly predicted he would be killed by his father in July of 2020. The 10 year old boy said his dad was angry with him and was going to kill him. Nakota's mom says she reported that to a DCS employee who said the boy had to stay at his father's apartment because it was court ordered. Police say Nakota's father, Anthony DeBaya, confessed to suffocating his son to death and then disposing of his body. The lawsuit filed this week says DCS shares responsibility for Nakota's death. I think if they just listened to Nakota, they would have um, been able to stop it. Well, a spokesperson for the Department of Child Services says they have no comment right now on that case. Over the last week, two babies were surrendered at Safe Haven Baby Boxes in Indiana. The last one at the Carmel Fire Department, station number 45. Fire officials say a baby boy was dropped off Tuesday morning and firefighters got to the box less than a minute after the alarm went off. Safe Haven laws allowing people to surrender babies inside the fire department as well as in the baby boxes. Well, we're uh, excited that the box was used as an alternative. We realized that there's a, a family and a mother that was in crisis, and uh, we're, we're, we're proud and happy that that mother was able to utilize this box in a safe manner to uh, get care for this little baby boy. Yeah, the fire chief there saying that the baby is healthy and was taken to the hospital to be checked out. The baby box at Station 45 was installed in December of 2018, and this is the first baby surrendered at that location. The law says you can only use your phone when the vehicle is stopped. You can't be using while operating your vehicle, and it's that way for a reason. Well, happening today, there will be more officers patrolling the roads for an event to kick off Distracted Driving Awareness Month. Distracted driving is such a huge problem. And our Eric Pointer is joining us now live in front of 465, sharing the message law enforcement has and the consequences you could face if you don't follow that law. Eric, good morning. Well, good morning. So this new initiative is called Connect to Disconnect, and police officers are asking drivers to put their phones down when they're driving on roads like this one to help save lives. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, more than 3,000 people were killed in 2020 in crashes caused by distracted drivers. Now, in 2020, the Indiana passed the hands-free driving law. It makes it illegal to even be holding your phone while driving. Since then, police have issued more than 6,000 citations and almost twice as many warnings last year alone. But more importantly, we want folks to, to, to be doing the right things at the right time when nobody's watching. That, and I get it, it's easy to do. However, it's just not the right thing to do because your safety is more paramount than anything. 
This month is also Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and IMPD officers say they'll be on the lookout for anyone breaking the hands-free driving law. Officials say that violations of the hands-free law can come with fines up to $500 for each offense. And several law enforcement agencies here in Central Indiana are taking part in this event today, and the purpose of it is to educate drivers, reduce the number of crashes caused by distracted driving. Live here on the Northwest Side, Eric Coiner. Fox 59 News. Hey, Eric, great information there. Thank you. Well, a replacement for the Supreme Court vacancy could be announced later today. The Senate expected to confirm Judge Katanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. So we are going to go live to Washington, D.C. to preview the vote as debate is said to begin later on this afternoon. Plus, a bipartisan proposal that aims to make the U.S. more competitive with China, one step closer to becoming a law. The research lawmakers would put billions of dollars towards. All right, heading out the door, uh, keep in mind for the kids at the bus stop here today, they'll want that heavy coat. Wind chills are in the 30s, a lot of dry time to begin the day. That's going to change throughout the afternoon. Rain chances are going up. Eventually, that wintry mix will be back in here tomorrow and throughout parts of the weekend. We'll break down your Saturday and Sunday coming up. Daniel Miller, first at four, only on Fox 59. Real news never stops. Trust Fox 59 News at 10 to deliver. Major news that's happening now and breaking news that can't wait. Investigations that dig deeper when you need to know more. And a weather forecast that goes way beyond what you can get on your phone. Complete coverage of the facts. Every single night at 10 o'clock. That's why we are Central Indiana's number one news source. Fox 59 News at 10. At Floors Your Home, we know you want worry-free flooring. We've just made a special purchase of Pergo Elements waterproof laminate flooring. Bold styles and superior protection for your home. Who saves you over 50% on top quality flooring? Floors Your Home. That's who. Search Kings. Digital advertising experts with over 1,000 five-star reviews. Delivering big results for small businesses. Switch to Search Kings. Since 1984, Wickerworks has had the largest selection of outdoor and patio furniture that can meet any need and match any decor. Our showroom is packed with all the latest styles and fabrics to make your outdoor space the talk of the neighborhood. Supply chains are slow, but buy it from our showroom today and it can be on your patio tomorrow. Let our design consultants work with you to get the perfect setup for your patio or outdoor space. Visit Wickworks today and see why we're Indy's top outdoor furniture store. Panera chefs have crafted a masterpiece. Succulent seared chicken, a secret aioli, clean ingredients in a buttery brioche roll made fresh to leave you speechless. Panera's new chef's chicken sandwiches. Enjoy a free drink when you try one. I was dragged underneath the car. It was a frightening experience. Danny was a road worker on a road job site. Just minutes before his day ended, it happened. A reckless driver in a construction zone hit Danny. It was so quick that I couldn't even react. Danny would see the inside of a hospital for more than three months. I just wanted to go home. Home is where my heart was. If you injure a road worker because of careless driving through a construction zone, you will be prosecuted. For your sake and theirs, read the signs, slow down, save a life. We're all in this together. Since 1981, RG Decor Home Furnishings Redefined. Save on your new flooring during our tax refund sale. We have the new flooring you want in stock. Over 1,200 styles available, all priced at less than half of our competitors. Who saves you over 50% on top quality flooring and has what you want in stock? Floors to your home. That's who. Welcome back, 610. Right now, the Senate expected to confirm Supreme Court nominee Katanji Brown Jackson this afternoon, securing her place as the first black woman on the high court. Washington, D.C. correspondent Jesse Tenor joining us now live with a preview. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning to you as well, Scott and Britt. Today's vote will be far from the overwhelming bipartisan confirmation for Jackson's predecessor, but Democrats are still claiming it as a significant accomplishment in the 50-50 split Senate.
It will be a joyous day. Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson is poised to make history today when the Senate likely votes to confirm her as Justice Jackson. Thank my Senate colleagues for working together to advance and finalize this historic nomination. Three Republican senators have said they will join Democratic leader Chuck Schumer and his colleagues in supporting Jackson, who would replace Justice Stephen Breyer when he retires this summer. Throughout her confirmation hearings, Jackson recognized the significance of her nomination. Standing on the shoulders of generations of Americans who never had anything close to this kind of opportunity. But many Republicans, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, still criticize Jackson as too liberal and soft on crime. Judge Jackson, if she is confirmed, will be the single most liberal Supreme Court justice ever. With Jackson's confirmation all but certain, Democrats, including Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal, are now working on legislation that would force justices to follow certain ethics standards, like recusal requirements. The Supreme Court shouldn't be given some special pass. This comes amid revelations that the wife of Justice Clarence Thomas called for action to overturn the 2020 election in the days before January 6th. And Thomas later became the lone dissenter in the court's decision to allow access to Trump administration records surrounding the Capitol attack. The issue here is much bigger and broader than one justice. The Supreme Court justices are currently the only judges in the federal judiciary who are not subject to a code of ethics. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Well, as I looked at the bill, um, it was addressing something that wasn't a problem, uh, to my knowledge. Governor Eric Holcomb is speaking publicly about his veto of a Republican bill that would ban transgender girls from taking part in girls sports. Advocates of the bill say it is about ensuring fairness on the playing field. The governor says there's no data to support the claim that this participation creates an unfair advantage. The governor doubled down on his assessment of that bill. In terms of will it harm uh, that, that was one of my concerns about parents and schools who would have a different hodgepodge application of something that is very open-ended in terms of the grievance procedure. All right, House Republicans plan to override the veto in late May. They do have a supermajority. Last month, a spokesperson for Senate Republicans told us that they will consider the veto override if it is approved in the House. Overriding a veto in Indiana requires a simple majority in the House and Senate. A bipartisan proposal that aims to make the U.S. more competitive with China is a step closer to becoming law. The legislation would direct billions of dollars toward research in areas like artificial intelligence and quantum computing. It will also help fund American manufacturing of semiconductor chips. That we can't be relying on other countries for uh, critical uh, components uh, related to uh, our next generation technologies. We also need to prepare for the battles of the future has bipartisan backing. Many Republicans haven't supported it, including most members of Indiana's congressional delegation. The House and Senate have each passed their own versions and are working out the differences now. Those will likely take a few months. Coming up on 615, I discovered some fun facts about you that you, you like physics and stuff like that. We were talking about the podcast. The podcast. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, physics World Weekly. There's, I was just like, I'm not going to say I understand all of this. I just like listening to scientists debate their sciences. Yeah, and going back podcasts. and forth yeah. and their ideas. Learning a bunch of new things, like you sure. said, low learning podcasts. And I, I do prefer music. To, you've got to get pumped up, though. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Smart yeah, and cultured. But, yeah. Right. I got neither one going here. <laughs> those things, that, they're like, you know, it could be an hour, hour and a half long, those I podcasts. Know. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of time. You got a lot rise. of time on your hands, Jones. Yeah, well, some of, I, th I do th I agree. I think the, the shorter ones are better because it's right. better for attention mm -hmm. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. If nothing else, you can break them up. There's not yeah. really good weather podcasts out there. Maybe we could start one. Ooh. They could really use one. There we go. Oh, Jim and Alyssa make a little Make a little yeah. money out of that thing, too, right? Yeah. Is it Ja? Yeah. Is it Ja? Side gig. All right. Hey, let's, uh, let's take you out uh, to begin our Thursday morning. All moves to the weekend here. Uh, it is mainly dry across Indiana, although we're seeing one or two light shower chances out there on the radar. One well to the north and west of downtown, one well to the south and southeast. So plenty of dry conditions here for the morning. It will turn a bit unsettled heading into the afternoon. It's going to get gusty as well. Keep that in mind. I don't want to overlook the wind today. 
Uh, just snow being out and about, we could see wind gusts up to about 40 miles an hour uh, throughout the afternoon. Uh, as I mentioned, not much out there on the radar at this time, but as I mentioned, one lonely shower may be making its way up uh, near Benton County, and we had one or two isolated showers down in southeastern Indiana, but overall here locally, pretty dry. Uh, it is getting colder off towards the north and northwest, and that is going to be heading in here. Uh, so our temperatures are going to get colder, it looks like. Not only today cooler, but really heading into Friday and Saturday. Uh, and with that comes at least a snow chance. That has not changed for tomorrow and heading into our Saturday. Uh, there is that big upper level low or cutoff low. Upper low, that's going to continue to work its way off towards the south and southeast and certainly will impact us today and in the days ahead. 42, our current reading. Out at the airport, the wind not that bad, but it is up at 9 miles an hour, and that is generating wind chills now in the mid to upper 30s. So grab the code heading out. You'll need it, uh, and eventually the umbrella as well. As I mentioned, shower chances coming in for the afternoon. Now, if we have sunshine in between these showers, that could be enough to generate maybe a few flashes of lightning uh, later on today. So it could be a bit unsettled here. Might have a random thunder shower out there. Could see a little bit of grapple mixing in or ice pellets uh, throughout the afternoon. So that's kind of uh, the oddity of today's weather with uh, the fact that we're only going to get up to about 50 here. It looks like uh, throughout the afternoon and then we'll have that colder air aloft that will generate again at least a chance of maybe a lightning strike or some ice uh, mixing in with rain chances. Highs later on today only getting up to about 50 near 50 and then on through the evening we'll keep the rain chances going. The Indians trying to have a double Header today. We'll have to contend with a little bit of rainfall around the area, it looks like, throughout the afternoon and evening. Looking ahead to tomorrow, primarily rain, but there's going to be wet snow mixing in at times on our Friday. That's going to be the trend into Saturday as well. Could see a light dusting in the area, it looks like, on Saturday. We're going to get this thing out of here Saturday evening, much colder early Sunday morning. But there is a lot of warmth on the way, it looks like, early next week. So hang in there. we got to get through the bad stuff to get to that better weather, it looks like, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. You can certainly see that jump here from 60, it looks like 62, rather, on Sunday to a high in the mid to upper 70s, Monday and Tuesday. Alyssa, over to you. Oh, ready for that spring jump. All right, we're not too far away from that, but right now, as you head out the door, nothing to report as far as crashes go. So that is good news. Things are mostly moving along nicely. But I do want to just point out uh, typical suspects where you expect things to be moving a little slower. We're not looking all green on the south edge of 465, right where it connects to 37. So that's a little slower moving there if you're getting on uh, right at that point. But at the 465 and Sam Jones Expressway, we've got more traffic starting to pick up. There's a few more cars out on the road as you all get to start your day off here. If you have to fill up your tank today, we did find some locations that were a little cheaper. These prices have gone down a smidge from yesterday. You can go fill your tank up from 363 per gallon. That's in Franklin. Franklin had the cheapest prices overall, so lucky for you if you live near there. Shelbyville at Circle K, you can go there for just about 366 a gallon as well. Hey, Alyssa, thank you. Well, if you're having a hard time falling asleep, there may be a solution. Coming up, a new study shows that eating specific food could give you the best night's sleep. We're going to tell you what food you should be eating. And if you have a pet, they could be making you sick. The type of bacteria researchers say your dog or cat could be giving you. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman, the man for all seasons. Look who we've jumped in bed with. Introducing Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Stearns and & Foster mattresses. Now, all at Value City Furniture with our exclusive Dream Mattress. And now, get special financing on a mattress by itself or with sleep systems, bedroom furniture, and more. We've even made it easier to try out a mattress. No hassle, no worries. The most loved brands plus our dream mattress. Your dream team. Now, all at Value City Furniture. It all starts down on the farm with fresh picked tomatoes, peppers, spinach, vitamin rich sweet potatoes. That's what goes into Bob Evans' new farm fresh protein bowls. Fuel up your busy day. Every season has a home. Fall is in the fields, winter is for the blues. But in spring, baseball is needed. Summer, that's our season. 
Home is at the ballpark and we're ready for you to move in. The coolers are full, the grill is hot, and we just cut the lawn. No need to bring a chair. We're saving the best seat for you. Come on over. Summer lives here. Victory is here. Tomwood Honda reminds you distracted driving is dangerous driving. Don't be a danger on the road. Go to Tomwood.com and take the pledge not to be a distracted driver and make Indiana roads safer for everyone. At Precision, we know when it's cold, springs are definitely going to break. People don't do a lot of preventative maintenance, so when it gets cold, their stuff breaks. We've got trucks all over central Indiana, so we'll never leave you in the cold. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. FanDuel Sportsbook lets you bet at the speed of the NBA. And if you feel the momentum shifting, you can cash out while you're ahead. Right now, new customers get a risk-free first bet up to 1000 bucks. Download FanDuel today. Life is a precious gift from God. Julie McGuire talks about the sanctity of life. Our family wouldn't be complete without Brady and Mark. Julie applies her pro-life values as an adoptive parent and believes education and public safety are also keys to keeping our children safe. I'm unapologetic in my conservative views. We need leaders who are dedicated to life, liberty, and the rule of law. Life, liberty, community. Conservative Republican Julie McGuire for state representative. For the third day in a row, the stock market fell as investors eyed more sanctions against Russia. The Dow Jones fell 144. The Nasdaq, which is about half the size of the index, had more than double the loss, dropping about 315. The S&P 500 fell 44. And the futures right now this morning, well, it's up. The Dow, 35 points. Nasdaq increasing by 75. And the S&P, it is up about 15. Britt. Amazon is hiking the price of its music streaming service for Prime subscribers. Members will have to pay $9 a month or $89 annually to access Amazon Music Unlimited. That's an increase of $1 per month or $10 a year, so not terrible. The move comes after Amazon increased its Prime subscription prices for the first time in four years. Amazon says the new price increases were necessary to help bring more content and features. The new charges will take effect on May 15th. We are now hearing some reaction on the Biden administration's decision to extend the pause on federal student loan repayments through the end of August. The current extension was scheduled to end in May. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona says, quote, although the country is recovering from the pandemic, restarting payments next month would financially hurt many Americans, unquote. Many Americans saying the pause is not enough and that they want President Biden to forgive student debt entirely. 41 million Americans, this is an opportunity for them to breathe a little bit easier, knowing they have a little bit more time. Entirely out of the pandemic. I mean, people still wear masks on airplanes. People still aren't entirely back at work. The Federal Reserve says in the last two years, borrowers have saved $200 billion by not paying student loan debt. A group of doctors and nutritionists are sharing some of the best foods to eat before you get a, go to bed to get a good night's sleep. Topping the list are almonds, which are a natural source of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone naturally produced by the brain related to sleep and sleep cycles. Another item is walnuts, which nutritionists say contain several nutrients that promote good sleep, like serotonin and magnesium. Doctors also recommend bananas as they're rich in carbohydrates and melatonin. Other suggestions, chamomile tea, oats, salmon, eggs, and avocados. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. Hey, your pets might be passing you more than just love and company. Research shows they might be transmitting bacteria and harmful germs to owners. Analysts from the UK and Portugal found dogs and cats could be transferring antibiotic-resistant bacteria to their owners. Researchers collected stool samples from more than 100 people and their pets for four months. They searched for germs in their system and say they found nearly 15% of cats and dogs have particular types of bacteria and almost 14% of humans have the same type of microbes, so they're thinking they're transferring from one to the other. Hmm. So there you go. Don't kiss your dog, Britt. Oh, I don't. Whenever I see people letting their dogs lick inside their mouths, it's... Inside their mouths? Oh, yeah. You haven't seen people do that? I've like... seen them lick their face, but not inside their mouths. I believe you, though. Mm. You've seen this. Mm -hmm. All right. Hang out where you live. <laughs> Much more ahead in the next half hour. Yeah, we're celebrating National Beer Day. Still to come, 
Kylie Scales is here. We're going to Kylie's kitchen to see how you can add a little flavor to your cooking. Police say genealogical DNA was used to identify the infamous I-65 killer and it's not the first cold case to be solved with this method. Coming up, we're breaking down how this technology works and the other cold cases it's been used to solve. And it looks like we have traffic moving along nicely here at I-465 in the Sam Jones Expressway, but we did get a new crash report just coming in, so we're going to update with you on that when we come back. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Business and Consumer Report is brought to you by Old National Bank. Your success is everything. Four years of med school, three years residency, and two proud parents. Congratulations, you're a physician. Glad that's over with. Marriage, kids, work-life balance, taking over my practice. What? It's time to start planning for the future. You know, we're going to need some help with this. Your mom and I didn't do it alone. It's so nice to find the new you. Your dad's done Old so National. Nice. Your success Thanks. is everything. When the insurance company tells you that you don't need a lawyer, then you probably need a lawyer. If you've been injured in an accident, call. 1-800-2-KELLER. Keller and Keller, the name you know. Today, every business is digital. From web design and development to e-commerce, AmericanEagle.com delivers innovative website and digital solutions, driving growth for their clients. Their e-commerce work for WeatherTech focused on advanced functionality in finding specific products, increasing conversion, and accelerating growth. Need to build online revenue? Let's talk. AmericanEagle.com. Building your digital mindset. Spring is in the air, so isn't it time to refresh your home's look? During God Be Home Furnishing Spring Sale, we've got a huge amount of inventory in stock and ready to be delivered. Save 50% off retail on Flex Steel, Hickory Craft, Cannondale, and Winesburg, and 15% off everything else in the store. And all outdoor furniture is on sale, too. Plus, with your mattress purchase, get a free foundation or save big on an adjustable base. The annual spring sale is going on now. Come see us at God Be Home Furnishings. Life is full of things to worry about. Your home's basement shouldn't be one of them. Moisture on your walls and basement floors are all indications that you need a water protection system. At Indiana Foundation Services, we offer permanent solutions that help put your worries to rest. Call us today for a free inspection. How water is overrated. Look, these guys jump in icy cold water for fun. For fun! I'm out. Nope. You guys are gonna love it! There's an expert for that. Let your local experts at Broad Ripple Service Experts give you worry free hot water as low as $34.99 plus tax a month. Your body elevates! Welcome back. What do you think about this one, Britt? Kit Kat unveiling its new flavor of candy bar, blueberry muffin. Blueberry. <laughs> the candy cookie is designed to taste like blueberry and cake batter flavor options. The new cookie is already available at retailers, but only for a limited time. They come in snack, standard, and king sizes. I think I'd prefer the original one. The just so the do what? You know what, though? I would try that. Yeah. I would try it because I would. do like blueberry yeah. muffins. Because you're a giver, and I like that about you. Good morning. I'm Scott Jones. And I'm Brett Baker, and for Lindy Thaxton. All right. We're going to talk about your forecast. We're going to get to Jim in just a minute, but first, here are some of the stories we have coming up this half hour. Indianapolis Animal Care Services rescued more than a dozen dogs from a home on the city's south side. What tipped neighbors off to call authorities? Have you ever wanted to cook with beer but did not know how? Well, if that's the case, we're going to head to Kylie's Kitchen to discuss some ways you can incorporate it. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady. Ain't calling me baby. Better say my name. All right. 22 years ago, the number one song today was Destiny's Child, Say My Name. It's the group's biggest hit, featured in the top five on the UK and US charts. In 2000, Say My Name was best R&B song and best R&B performance by a group or duo at the Grammys. 
Jim's doing the you dance. You gotta throw the shoulder in that Do a little one of those right. deals. So you throw it out when you get old like me and you. I just look like a lane. I look Careful. like a lane dancing. Careful. <laughs> <That's so bad. laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Jim, I know we've got a double header for the Indians today. We do, yeah. They didn't get the game in yesterday, in. although the sky's cleared out. Yeah. But the field evidently too wet to play yesterday. Yeah, so is that a risk today gonna, though? There is, yeah. There's reschedule. more rain on the way, and I think their first game trying at 6:05. See, I do listen. I I'm trying to show you. I you're listen. You're a big Indians fan. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna sing "Take Me Out to the Ball Game." Yeah, yeah. I she's, better get some crackers. She's the bat lady. Too. Right, she's the bat lady. All right, 6:31, guys. Hey, heading out the door, and we'll try to get that game a double header actually in later on tonight. But there is rain that will be around right now. Dry condition zone. We're waiting sunrise. We should enjoy some early sunshine. But it will begin to cloud back up here, and eventually rain chances do start to sneak back in by late morning and into the early afternoon. So another unsettled day, but unlike yesterday, much colder air. We're only going to climb up to about a high today at 50 degrees. We're currently at 42, and there's a wind chill out there in the 30s. So you'll need the winter coat again. You'll need the umbrella throughout the afternoon and into the early evening. As we look to our day planner here, dry through 10 a.m., We'll start to see rain chances around lunchtime today. Better rain chances by mid to late afternoon. And again, that high only topping out at 50. At least at this time of the year, normally our afternoon high should be at about 61 degrees. Winter weather, a taste of it on the way tomorrow and heading into Saturday. We'll talk more about that coming up. Yeah, we're getting a little ripped off on the uh, temperature so far of week into April, but right now as you head out the door this morning, most of our commutes and drive times are going to be normal, but that section on 465 we were looking at a little bit ago where I said yeah, it was kind of looking a little slower, well now we have a crash report right there where the right-hand shoulder is blocked due to a crash on I-465 westbound at exit 4 Harding Street, and according to NDOT, that should be for the next hour, but there's what it looks like outside on those camera shots, I-465, and Harding Street around State Road 37, so traffic certainly moving much, much slower in that area. And again, that's going to be for the next hour. Now, outside of that, things look like it's moving um, pretty smoothly here. About 10 minute going to be your average commute times for some of these drives eastbound airport to the south split on I-70. That's going to take you about 10 minutes. Alyssa, thank you. One Warren Township bus stop is now changed following a hit and run that killed a child nearly three weeks ago. Seven year old Sevion Sanford died when he was hit by two cars near his bus stop outside the Warren Harbor Apartments on East 21st Street. Complex management telling us it worked with Warren Township schools to move the stop away from the busy road. Yellow lines were painted to stop cars from parking where the buses will be picking up and dropping off students. One parent whose child rode this same bus as Sevian was not aware of the change. And though she is glad it is happening, she also believes the community should take responsibility for their actions on the road. The community needs to really just slow down and watch out for these kids. If y'all see a bus stop, it's for a reason. The bus stop should be in the neighborhood. The bus is like, we have to find a way for buses to turn around and make it as safe as possible for our kids. One of the two drivers who hit Sevion was in a light colored sedan and took off. That person has not been found. Sevion's mother told us she is begging for that person to come forward. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Now this. People like that don't need to have animals. Uh, they don't deserve to have pets um, because um, the animals didn't do anything wrong. Um, Neighbors are speaking out after more than a dozen dogs are removed from a home on the city's south side. Neighbors contacted authorities when they began questioning a foul odor outside the residence. Indianapolis Animal Care Service Care, uh, Control says the dogs were removed from the home in the 3100 block of Epler Avenue yesterday afternoon. They were then taken to the shelter to be placed under a hold while the case is under investigation. IACS says around 13 dogs were taken from that home. Some neighbors had no idea the people living there had that many dogs. I love animals in general. Um, dogs are my favorite. They're, they're like, you know, like the old saying is man's best friend. And it's just so sad and heartbreaking because animals are the, the heart and soul of, of, of humans and we need to treat them better. Indianapolis police say they're looking into the matter and have yet to provide additional details. Animal Care and Services say kennels continue to fill and says adoptions are currently free.
We are taking a closer look at genealogical DNA and also how it is used to solve cold cases after the method helped identify the infamous I-65 killer. Investigators are crediting a cutting-edge technology with cracking that case. Lindsay Stone joining us now live in the studio. She has more on how genealogical DNA is being used to solve the cases. Lindsay. Good morning to you, Scott. Well, for the average person, genealogical DNA is a way for you to track down your ancestors and discover your family tree. But for investigators, it's a way to solve cold cases that seem nearly impossible to crack. The technology was credited with finding the I-65 killer after more than 30 years. So how does this all work? Well, Susan Walsh is an associate professor at IUPUI in the Forensic Investigative Sciences Program, and she runs her own research lab. She showed us how investigators take DNA found at crime scenes and run it through genealogical databases. Those databases include people's DNA from popular genealogical companies to discover your family tree. Investigators then attempt to find a relative of the suspect and then use the family tree to find their suspect. This is all research within the last 10 years. We could never do this before. Um, and it all comes down to working with the police in intelligence and working with librarians, uh, individuals that are professionals in record searching. And in the 20 years of my law enforcement career, how far we came during that time to where, look what we're doing now. It is pretty incredible. Well, experts say this technology does have its setbacks, though. So, for example, the genealogical databases still need to grow. So, current databases have roughly 1.5 million samples in them. Experts say if that number reaches about the 3 million mark, nearly every person in the population would be able to find a relative. So, experts say this technology is only continuing to advance and get better. And they say solving cold cases could become much more common as this technology is used. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone. Fox 59 News. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Turkish courts have suspended the trial of Saudi suspects in the killing of a Washington Post columnist from 2018. Still ahead, what human rights activists say will happen if the case is suspended. And today is National Beer Day. We're going to head to Kylie's Kitchen next to see the many different ways, look at her right there, that you and she can use beer in cooking and also the benefits that come with it. Fox 59 wants to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, look who we have. Today we celebrate with Jackson Miller. Your family says happy birthday, baby big girl. We love you. Enjoy your day. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Well, I'm not sorry, Miss Jackson. You <laughs> are for real. Oh, so cute. Well, you want to send a birthday wish too? Just go to fox59.com slash happy birthday. Post their name, picture, shout out, the date of their special day, and we'll try and get it on the air. On the next Indie Now, you'll find fresh takes. On food? Totally. Gordon Ramsay said that this will go down in history as the best shrimp and grits he's ever had in the MasterChef kitchen. Fashion. We're yeah. talking spring trends. And fun. Don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to miss a thing. From Armageddon. Yeah. Good job. All right, next one. Come on. Plus deals and discounts from local businesses. We have a promo yep. for Indie Now viewers. Tell us about it. And giveaways to the hottest events. With the tickets valued at more than $400. Come join us. Right after Fox 59 Morning News. Need new carpet? At Floors Your Home, we have Indy's largest selection at the guaranteed lowest price. Hundreds of rolls in stock. Take it home today or have it installed. Who saves you over 50% on top quality carpet? Floors Your Home. That's who. Ah, finally, spring has sprung and the weather's getting nice. Pat Sullivan here from Sullivan Hardware and Garden and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan. Our stores are blooming with perennials, annuals, shrubs, trees, and much more. We also specialize in excellent quality, mid-priced patio furniture, like all-weather wicker, Berlin Gardens Poly, cast aluminum teak, and more. And for a limited time, 30% off all patio furniture. Shop, play, experience. Spring with Sullivan's. My house has a new glow. I love my windows. Universal windows. I let in the sun rays. More of the heat stays. Universal windows. Direct. Right now, buy one window, get the next one free. Plus, no interest and no payments for 24 months. I love my windows. They've got that brand new home effect. Universal windows. Direct. What makes best reviews the best reviews? Ooh, pretty colors. They have an unbiased team that researches products in real world situations. Oh no, Count Bristol. We settle this dispute through dance. 
give honest, reliable recommendations on just about any product you can imagine. So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you. Faster, Count Bristol, faster! Whatever you're into. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. The Stanley Steamer started with one man, a van, and a whole lot of carpet. We've been innovating for a long time. Stanley Steamer now goes beyond carpet. We've been cleaning tile and grout, upholstery, rugs, air ducts, and a whole lot more. We don't just clean carpets, we clean homes. So when your home needs a cleaning, give us a ring at 1-800-STEAMER. Just arrived at Floors to Your Home, truckloads of Pergo Extreme waterproof flooring. 100% dent-proof, child-proof, pet-proof, waterproof and we have it priced better than anywhere else. Who saves you over 50% on top quality flooring? Floors your home, that's who. If you did not know, today is National Beer Day and there are more uses for it than just drinking. Kylie from Kylie's Kitchen joining us this morning and I'm the only one without child. It is lovely <laughs> to see you two ladies and I'm also the only one probably going to be drinking a lot of beer. I'm just guessing that. Well, I can't right now, so. See, yeah. see, it was a great <laughs> guess. So the big question, Smells what are we good. making today? So this is an orange cardamom beer cake. So that means that beer is baked into the cake, mm. and also we're going to make a beer icing to go over it. And we get to help out. Mm. Right? And you get to help out, of course. It wouldn't be a segment if you didn't help out. So the first thing I'm having, and I'm going to have you do, is will you open a can of beer for me, please? A can yeah. of beer, pass or a it on over. A bottle of beer. Okay. And then, so Do I need this thing, right? Um, I don't normally know. use that one. Well, you know, I don't have it. Hey, it works. So I was a little afraid it would explode. That's why I had you <laughs> open it, to be quite honest. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, So Kylie. anyway, so there are lots of benefits to baking with beer. Um, the first is that it's a natural leavener. So if mm -hmm. we pour some beer out, we see the carbonation, it's fizzing there. So those bubbles are going to help give your cakes or breads or whatever you're baking with lift. Now, one thing when you're baking with beer, you want the foam to subside before you put it in your batter. How long okay. does that take? Uh, about five minutes. Okay, five so not too long. No, not too long. And keep it at room temperature too, so that'll make mixing easier. Right. So then, so it's a natural leavener, and also, as you can imagine, it imparts flavor. So we have yeah. blue moon here, which is traditionally served with an orange, mm -hmm. and it has notes of orange, and so that's why I used it for my orange cake. It's but, definitely very flavorful for a beer. Yes, and so, but if you were making something with chocolate or caramel, you might want like a, a, a porter or a stout because those are brewed with malt. Right. And they have, it's rich and dark. It has Goes those elements together. of chocolate yeah. and coffee in it. Right. So anyway, we I use the beer in place of the liquid in my cake. Okay. One thing to point out though, beer is fat free, so you need to add fat elsewhere if you replace it in like a cake. Like some butter or something yeah, like that. Yeah, extra butter, oil, I added two extra egg yolks. Right. So this is our final product, and you Ooh. can tell it's a nicely baked cake. It pulls away from the edges. That's how you can tell. Way and to go. also, this is a really nice trick. That yes, you should always there. use parchment paper when you're making your cakes in li or lining your Look cake pans because it just lifts right out. So parchment paper and nonstick spray. I would just be so afraid that it's going to burn in the oven. The parchment paper? Yeah, see, it can't burn in the oven. Parchment paper. Now, wax paper will burn. Okay, so no wax no paper. No wax paper, but parchment paper will not burn. Yes, parchment paper is very beneficial. Don't use saran wrap either. Okay. Um, <laughs> no saran <laughs> Or tin. I mean, tin foil you can put in the oven, but yeah, this, you can put this is yes. the best. So this is what we're doing here. Okay. So this is our cake. Now, so like I said, we replaced the liquid with beer, and mm -hmm. now we're going to use beer as like a flavoring agent, like a vanilla okay. extract in our icing. So Britt and Scott, you are going to help me make my icing here. So Britt, okay. if you wouldn't mind just pouring a little bit of the liquid into the powdered sugar and Scott's going to whisk for us. Now Kylie, this is the beer mixed with orange, right? This is right? beer so mixed with it? orange juice. Okay. Yes. So All I have like just a little? Just a little at a time. So okay. Scott's going to stir while you do a little bit at a time, yeah. Okay. And so um, I did two tablespoons beer and two tablespoons orange juice that I just used my um, little squeezer to squeeze out some fresh orange juice there. Mm -hmm. And that's going to make a nice icing that we will put over um, the beer cake. All right, we got about a minute left. What are some of the other benefits to cooking with beer? So another benefit is that it, um, alcohol 
inhibits the formation of gluten. So mm -hmm. gluten is what makes our breads or cakes or whatever we're making, it gives it the structure. But if you have too much gluten formation, it's going to be tough. Uh, so it tenderizes smells the good. cake. Oh yeah. my goodness. So it helps to keep the cake tender. Mm -hmm. That is one of the biggest benefits to it. Um, is I mean, there a preferred beer? So, um, th I use Blue Moon for this one because it's a lighter beer and it has those notes of orange. But you could use whatever beer you want. Honestly, the best beer to use is the beer you enjoy drinking. Makes because sense. If you like the way it tastes, right. you're going to like the way it tastes in a cake. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the way it tastes, like if you don't like IPAs because they're super hoppy and bitter, you're not going to like the way it tastes in mm -hmm. a cake or a bread. Right. So, buy sense. what you want to drink. Also, you can use non alcoholic beer. It will have the mm -hmm. same effect. Well, is does the alcohol actually cook off when you're baking it? So the alcohol will cook off when you're oh, baking perfect. it. Oh, perfect. So yeah. that's good. Oh, thank you. You're feeding me? Go ahead. And then um, I was going to say the icing, though, Girl. does not cook off the beer. That is so good. So, but okay, it was so just a little icing bit of icing up, but <laughs> that you served her. <laughs> oh. Hashtag give her. Yeah. I'll, just, you know, I'll just cut a, a yeah, cut off of this before you it. You want some actual cake to go with your icing? Yeah. Too bad. Hey, that we're out of time. So you did good. a great Thank job. You so much. As usual. Thank you. Thank you, Kylie, for joining us this morning. If you would like to make that recipe, just head to fox59.com slash Kylie's recipe. Britt, it's just that mm. easy. Okay, I guess I have to read this tease, right? Yeah, before. Do. All right, Sorry. one of America's longest running cartoon shows is adding a bit more diversity. Stella had the character you'll meet this weekend who brings inclusion to the cast. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Britt. That looks so good. With gas prices on the rise and no relief in sight, electric vehicles are becoming more appealing. But they can get pricey, right? Still ahead, auto expert Nick Miles shows us five of the least expensive electric vehicles you can purchase. And as we've told you, today is National Beer Day. To celebrate, we're having Gugman Haas Brewing Company live in studio to talk beer history, popular beers, and maybe even taste some as well. Plus, are you still looking to fill your kids' Easter baskets ahead in our 9 o'clock hour? We're getting a look at some budget-friendly items that are sure to put a smile on their face. Stick with us. Okay, floor and decor, show me what you've got. Now this tile says spa day all day. But this tile says classic on glam. And this modern look, it's sleek yet chic. Okay, I've got it. Everything I need to pull this project together and all at the perfect price. At Floor & Decor, you can realize any aspirational project at an inspirational price. Because with an unmatched selection of high quality products, all at everyday low prices, your bathroom upgrade has never been more you. Discover Floor & Decor today. I was an addict. But it does not define me. Or who we are. I chose to get help. And to live a better life. Addiction does not define you. It does not choose who it affects. But with Landmark Recovery, you can choose to get help. And live a better life. Since 1981, RG Decor Home Furnishings Redefined. There's really only one number that matters in sports. The number one. That's why FanDuel built the number one rated sportsbook app with the most popular parlays and faster payouts. With winnings hitting your bank account in as little as two hours. So if you want the best, bet with the best. FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. New customers download FanDuel Sportsbook today and get an exclusive risk-free bet up to $1,000. Sky 59 is powered by Fiesel. Visit FieselInc.com for your free touch-free inspection. What does zero fee mean at Keller & Keller? Zero fee means it's free to speak with us about your case. Zero fee means there's no charge while we work on your case. Zero fee means you pay us nothing unless we win your case. Call Keller & Keller and get our zero fee guarantee. It's free. 1-800-2-KELLER Keller & Keller, the name you know. I'm NASCAR driver Chase Briscoe, and you're watching Fox 59, your home for NASCAR. New this morning, a Turkish court ruling to suspend the trial of 26 Saudis accused of killing Washington Post columnist and Indiana State grad Jamal Khashoggi. 
they asked the case to be transferred to Saudi Arabia. Khashoggi was killed in October brutally. In 2018, Istanbul, where he had gone to collect documents, they accused a group of Saudi agents. Human rights groups say turning the case over would, quote, lead to a cover-up of the killing, unquote. You may remember Khashoggi was in critical, rather, was rather critical in his writing of the Saudi crown prince. Well, for the first time, The Simpsons will star deaf and hearing impaired voiceover actors. The new episode is called The Sound of Bleeding Gums and follows Lisa Simpson, who is meeting the son of her blues idol, late musician Bleeding Gums Murphy. Lisa learns his son Monk was born deaf and wanted a cochlear implant. Monk is voiced by John Autry Jr., who is hearing impaired. The episode features a total of six deaf actors and will air this Sunday at 8 o'clock right here on Fox 59. McDonald's is bringing back its spicy McNuggets, having fans of heat at the edge of their seats. The popular fast food chain announcing it is bringing back the nuggets only for a limited time and at participating restaurants. The company says 6,900 of its locations in the U.S. will bring them back. The spicy nuggets are available in a pack of 6, 10, 20, and 40 pieces if you care, Jim O'Brien. Never like had those. Do you like, I've never tried them? I have not. And me neither. All right. Jim well, wants, I mean, Britt over here wants some. I She's want so 40 of them. Have you, have you <laughs> tried them, Britt? I've tried a lot of spicy nuggets. I, I want any nuggets right now. To All be right. With you. Good to know. Well, Kylie, you know, we thought nugget. maybe we'll do a, a spicy nuggets uh, segment next time. All right, hey, a drive start out there right now, guys. Afternoon showers are back and gusty at times as well. Keep that in mind. Wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour later on today, and it will start to turn overcast. Now, I still think we'll enjoy early sunshine. Just know that the clouds will start to increase and shower chances start to go up throughout the afternoon. There's a lot of cold air around up through Minnesota and Wisconsin, that big upper level low, that thing is going to drop in here tomorrow and into Saturday. That's going to generate a lot of cold air, it looks like, in our forecast. Along with that, we'll have a rain chances, a wintry mix on the way tomorrow and into Saturday as well. It does not feel like early April. 42, our current reading at downtown. The wind, not that bad out there, but it is generating wind chills now in the 30s as you're heading out. So winter coat, a good idea. And, you know, keep the umbrella handy. We've had rain chances since Monday. We'll do it again today. And you can see here, certainly by the afternoon, may actually have a few flashes of lightning around later on today. Along with that, a heavier downpour could mix in with a few ice pellets uh, throughout the afternoon and evening. So a little bit of everything could be in the forecast uh, throughout this afternoon. Our high today struggles. We're only going to get up to about 50 degrees here in downtown. Looking ahead to later on tonight. I do expect to see some drier time between 9 and 11 o'clock this evening, and then we're back to rain chances tomorrow. As I mentioned, some wet snow will likely mix in tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and heading into Saturday. Saturday morning could see a light dusting of snow on through Saturday afternoon, uh, mainly in grassy areas, and then finally the system gets out of here. Uh, we'll start to warm things back up, and we need that warm up. Uh, we're running nearly three degrees below average now for the month of April so far, but there is a lot of warmth on the way. Uh, just got to get through uh, the weekend here, at least through early Sunday morning, and then we'll finally start to jump things back up here, it looks like, on Sunday afternoon. You can certainly see, though, going backwards here the next couple of days, 42 for a high tomorrow, 40 on Saturday with that wintry mix. Looks like 62 on Sunday, and then we're back to the 70s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Alyssa? All right, it looks like things are slowing down quite a bit on the south side of 465, according to NDOT, just about another hour as we wait for traffic to start to clear out. But pretty stop and go right now because there was a crash report. It will take you to the location on the map where that was. So you can see there's a couple of other traffic alerts um, on the north and northeast side, but we're going to go down to the south here first and just looking at that crash report. A right hand shoulder block due to a crash on I 465 westbound at exit 4 at Harding Street. So that's the shot that we were just looking at and then there's a couple of lane blocks here due to obstructions on the road and so that's at 86th street westbound at Payne road and also a lane blocked due to a stalled vehicle on the road and that's eastbound at 56th street so once again the major slowdown here is on the south side of 465 that's the state road 37 in harding street Alyssa, thank you. Today is finally the day, opening day for Major League Baseball. It all starts with the Chicago Cubs and Milwaukee Brewers at Wrigley Field. The newly named Cleveland Guardians are Kansas City. Cardinals hosting the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Reds start their season at Atlanta. 
The Chicago White Sox will not start their regular season until tomorrow. Opening day was supposed to be last week, but was delayed because of the lockout as the League and Players Association negotiated. The teams are still expected to play all their regular season games. Well, this weekend, thousands of runners from 43 states will hit the streets for the Carmel Marathon. The race will spark a special milestone for a central Indiana runner. This will be Keely Slew's 50th full marathon. We saw her running there just a second ago. Keely's a mother of four boys who lives in Lawrence. She's done marathons all across the country and even logged 26.2 miles just this past weekend. The Carmel Marathon will be her 50th in the past 15 years. Keely never runs for a finish time instead. She says she just wants the feeling of crossing that finish line. The thing about running is it's it's not about competing with anybody else. You know, I mean, there's tons of people that beat me that are faster than me, better than me. Um, but it's more about, you know, just enjoying it and competing with yourself. Well, Keely plans to go as long as her body allows her to. Her ultimate goal is to do a 100-mile race. Wow, 50 marathons. Good for her. That's a lot of miles. Oh, yeah. Much more news ahead in the next hour. Yeah, hour. Angela's here to tell us what's up at 7. Good morning. Good morning, you two. A woman accidentally wins the lottery. Doesn't, don't we all? I mean, how does that work? Hey, next at 7, how she claims being shoved by a stranger is what led her to becoming $10 million richer. Is she given that stranger any money, though? Plus, police say genealogical DNA used to solve one of Indiana's biggest cold cases called the I-65 killer. We're going to get a closer look at how this method works to solve cases long after they happen. We'll be right back. As we get older, life has a way of beating us all up. And everyone knows the best way to naturally relieve those aches and pains is with Epsom salts. Using a hot tub of Epsom salts is the best technique. Royal Spa is the only hot tub made to safely and effectively run Epsom salts. Made right here in Indianapolis, Royal Spa hot tubs are the highest quality hot tubs on the market. Step into luxury. Step into Royal Spa. Ah, <sighs> Royal Spa. Tom Wood works. We are always in demand for hiring as we keep growing. Coming to work is something I actually look forward to. It is like family coming to work. They believe in you. That's the biggest thing. Join the Tomwood Group today. Go to tomwood.com slash careers. Bus Stop Forecast is brought to you by Everdry Waterproofing. You're good at basement basketball. We are good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. Life is a precious gift from God. Julie McGuire talks about the sanctity of life. Our family wouldn't be complete without Brady and Mark. Julie applies her pro-life values as an adoptive parent and believes education and public safety are also keys to keeping our children safe. I'm unapologetic in my conservative views. We need leaders who are dedicated to life, liberty, and the rule of law. Life, liberty, community. Conservative Republican Julie McGuire for state representative. It's our spring sale at Family Leisure. Huge savings on patio furniture, pools and spas, fire pits, barbecue islands, grills, and more. Spring sale going on now at Family Leisure. For weather authority forecasts all day long, listen to Q95, Indy's Classic Rock. We are following breaking news from overnight after a man has found shot downtown Indy. The conversation they believe led to the shooting. A new program starts today meant to spread awareness about distracted driving and keep people safe on the road. I'm Eric Pointer this morning why you'll see more patrollers on the road. A new library headed to Lawrence. We're going to sit down with a branch manager of the Fort Bend Library to learn what you can expect once it's finished. Fox 59 Morning News at 7 starts right now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. Hey, you might be feeling some shivers today. We're cooling down with a chance of rain showers set for later this afternoon. 
Good morning to you. I'm Melissa Crash and for Daniel Miller. And I'm Angela Gano. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. You may have some shivers too when you see the traffic problem that Britt's going to oh. show you in just a minute. That's so true. But yeah, big backup. Chilly out there. Yeah, 465 is. and 37. I don't know if it's cleared up at all, but a hot mess over there. Okay. Not hot though here, unfortunately. No, Another cool unfortunately. day. Yeah, shaping up, although we're off to a dry beginning, which is good for the morning rush hour. That will change. We'll try to enjoy some early sunshine here, but it will start to turn overcast. Uh, throughout the afternoon. We are back to rain chances again throughout the afternoon. Not much out there on the radar right now. We'll continue to monitor any shower chances early on. I still think our better chances don't get here really until the afternoon, but you can certainly see snow flying now out towards Iowa. We're currently at 42 here in downtown, and there is a wind chill out there. Feels like 35 here in downtown, 33 in Lafayette. So heavy coats, you'll need them. Keep the umbrella in the back seat of the car. You'll need that. Uh, certainly at times throughout the afternoon. So another unsettled day and getting cooler compared to Wednesday's high where we topped out at 58 degrees. Uh, today's high only tops out at 50. Even colder weather on the way tomorrow. That wintry mix still in the forecast. We'll have details on that coming up. Britt, over to you. All right, Jim, we'll listen for that. Thank you. Starting off the 7 o'clock hour, backing up on the south side, heading westbound 465. We've got a problem off on the right-hand side to watch out for. Close to State Road 37, we can see that activity off on the right and traffic slowing way down. Down, getting past that. Here's a look 465 at Madison Avenue east of that problem. We can see westbound traffic coming towards the camera way under the speed limit. Really though both directions are heavy in volume since it is officially our morning rush hour now but red speed sensors indicating where we've got that slowdown on the south side westbound 465 getting past that crash activity on the right. It does spread out pretty quickly though once you get on the other side of that. Now on the northwest side we've got a traffic hazard partially obstructing a lane 86th Street at Payne Road. Some yellow speed sensors showing there. I-65 at 465 on the northwest side. Off to a good start and heading out in Hamilton County and Johnson County. Also moving smoothly in those areas. Angela. Britt, thank you for that. We want to get to this breaking news just into our newsroom out of Danville where police just sent us information on a 37-year-old man now in custody after barricading himself inside of a home with a weapon. Here's his photo. But it was last night. Police went to the address of Robert Lee Douglas Jr. to serve a felony warrant for a parole violation. That's when he ran into the home. When police entered, they saw Douglas with a knife, keeping his wife held in the bedroom. After seven hours, Douglas finally surrendered peacefully. Also breaking news from overnight, Metro Police find a man shot in an alley downtown. It happened in the area of Hudson and Michigan Street. That's not far from the old National Center on Mass Ave. Police got the call just after midnight. They found a, a man lying in the street with gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition, but police say he's stable. IMPD says they're now looking for a car that drove off from that scene. Police say the car of interest is a gray Chevy Malibu or Impala. They believe the shooting happened during a marijuana deal. Now, if you know anything about this, please call Crime Stoppers. That number 317-262-TIPS. Indiana State Police released a new clue in the search for suspects in a deadly shooting on 465. We're going to show you here. They believe this is the vehicle, the car, belonging to one of the suspects, Brian Brown Jr. Police say he drives a black 2006 Mercedes. This picture comes from an IMPD traffic camera. That's where, where we got it. Brown and Dewan Glenn, seen here, Dewan Glenn Jr., both wanted for the shooting death of 28-year-old Miguel Emery. He was killed while driving on the interstate in December. Another man was injured there. Detectives have arrested one man so far in the case, Jacinto Carter, now charged with murder and battery. If you know where Brown and Glenn Jr. are, you're asked to call 911. They are considered armed and dangerous. A Delaware County correctional officer is fired after violating the jail's use of force policy. The sheriff's office tells Fox 59 last week a correctional officer fired a pepper ball launcher into a cell block. An inmate was hit in the back. An internal review found the officer violated several jail policies, including use of force. The officer was fired. Indiana State Police will now do an independent criminal investigation. We're taking a closer look now at the genealogical DNA and how it's used to solve cold cases after the method helped identify the infamous I-65 killer. Our Lindsay Stone joins us now live in studio with how this method is helping forensic investigators solve some of the toughest cases. Lindsay, good morning. 
Good morning to you both. Well, forensic investigators say using genealogical DNA to solve cases will likely become much more common in the future. This technology most famously helped to find the Golden State Killer, and now it has solved one of Indiana's biggest cold cases, the I-65 Killer. So, how does this technology actually work? Well, investigators take DNA found at crime scenes and run it through genealogical databases that include people's data and DNA from popular genealogical companies, the same ones that you might have used to find your ancestors and family tree. Investigators attempt to find a relative of the suspect and then they use the family tree to find their suspect. Local forensic investigators say that's where the really tough work begins. For genetic genealogy, it's looking at what samples that individuals have freely put up uh, on the websites, on the databases, that can be uh, matched to this unknown sample. And it doesn't have to be a 100% match, it can just be a very, very small portion. And then this leads to the identity of that individual that shared this profile. Experts say this method has become more advanced in the last 10 years, really allowing police to work alongside professions in record searching to solve some of the most difficult cases. Now, experts say the technology is only continuing to advance and get better, so they say that solving cold cases could become much more common as this technology is used. Here in the studio, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, thank you for that. IMPD upgrades its technology so its officers can respond faster to gunfire and track down the suspects quicker. It's adding 25 licenses plate readers to the Southwest District in Hallville. They're free as part of a national study right now. Eventually, 200 more will be put across the city. When a vehicle is traveling down the road, a photograph is taken of the vehicle and the license plate. The license plate numbers entered into a database, which our investigators then can access for a period of 30 days. So IMPD is also now testing a gunshot detection system on the east side. There are three possible vendors for this. The technology uses microphones to feed gunfire information back to a command center. That's fascinating. The idea is that it'll get officers to the scene even quicker. Some are concerned, though, about gunshot detection technology. The ACLU previously told us it turns communities into surveilled outdoor prisons. That's their quote. The city plans to spend $9 million on public safety technology in the next three years. Interesting. Well, oil executives testify before lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Straight ahead, their response when questioned about gas prices rising when the price of oil is falling. Plus, Miller Lite is giving a hand to other beer companies, the product they've released to help boost the flavor of other beers. So they taste just like Miller Lite. Enjoying dry conditions out there right now, but it is chilly. Temps are in the uh, lower 40s, wind chills in the 30s now. It is going to be quite gusty throughout this afternoon. Keep that in mind. Wind gusts up to 40 plus miles an hour and rain chances back in the forecast later on today as well. We'll have the timing on that and more on that cold shot of air headed in tomorrow and into Saturday. This weekend, it's Soccer Saturday on Fox. First, the U.S. Women's National Team takes the pitch as they gear up for World Cup qualifying against Uzbekistan. Then, the next chapter of El Trafico awaits. Chicharito scores! As Chicharito leads the galaxy against Carlos Vela and LAFC. It all starts Saturday at 5 Eastern on Fox. Did you know that you don't need any money to hire Ken Nunn and you can become a client right over the phone? Call the Ken Nunn Law Office right now and let them get started on getting you a great settlement. It's just that easy. Since 1984, Wicker Works has had the largest selection of outdoor and patio furniture. Our showroom is packed with all the latest styles and fabrics to make your outdoor space the talk of the neighborhood. Visit Wicker Works today and see why we're Indy's top outdoor furniture store. Wouldn't it feel great to get some junk out of your life? Call the team at Fire Dogs Junk Removal. We haul it all and get you clutter-free fast. Fire Dogs is a local veteran and firefighter-owned company ready to serve you. Just point and we'll do the rest. Call Fire Dogs Junk Removal today. Dream big and do bigger with up to $500 off closing costs. Apply today. Inspired by your nerves of steel and the nerves and joints that help our bodies go. Inspired by your return to battle 
and vanquishing your hand and wrist pain. Inspired by longer walks and breakthrough joint replacements that keep you in step, we're inspired to deliver the best in orthopedic care because at Franciscan Health, we're inspired by you. I'm Karen from RG Decor, Indy's premier furniture store. We are fully stocked with American-made furniture with brands from Vanguard, Sierra Lane, Braddington Young, and Rowe. We sell off the floor or you can always order your custom upholstery. We have a large selection, rugs, window coverings, lighting, art, and decor. Let one of our interior designers help you create the home of your dreams. Visit us at RG Decor and experience the difference today. At the corner of West 96 and Michigan Road. Need a car? Don't worry about the banks. Call Ricky Shanks. Call or text 317-908-4935. Police in Sacramento say the city's mass shooting from over the weekend is the result of two rival gangs firing at each other. In an update, police say the evidence points to at least five shooters. The shooting on Sunday night left six people dead, 12 others hurt. Authorities have nearly 200 videos of the incident to build their case. Three men are in custody in connection to the shooting. Two of them are brothers. Both have criminal histories. One was just released from prison in February. He served half of a 10-year sentence for beating a girlfriend. The FBI says it stopped a Russian cyber attack. Authorities took back control of thousands of routers and firewall applications from Russian military hackers. They say they did it by hijacking the same infrastructure Moscow spies were using to communicate with the devices. The FBI got court approval to secretly reach into thousands of routers and firewalls to delete the malware and then reconfigure the devices. Meanwhile, the U.S. Senate votes unanimously to authorize the Biden administration to speed up the delivery of military equipment to Ukraine. This measure will now go to the House, which is also expected to overwhelmingly approve it. Ukrainian officials have been requesting more military supplies from the West as the country continues its unprovoked war with Russia. NATO leaders are also meeting to discuss ways to help Ukraine prosecute the war without getting entangled in the conflict. Ukraine's foreign ministry just told NATO leaders the best way to help is by giving more weapons. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki is questioned about a recommendation letter President Biden is accused of writing. Fox News reports newly released emails show the 2017 letter was for the son of a Chinese business associate of his son Hunter. Psaki was asked if it was common for the president to do favors for Hunter's international business partners. She replied, quote, I have seen the report. I have no confirmation or comment about whether the president, when he was a private citizen, wrote a college recommendation letter for an individual, end quote. President Biden has previously denied talking about Hunter's business ventures with him. Oil executives appeared before lawmakers on Capitol Hill, saying they have no control over the high prices of gas at the pumps. But Democrats questioned why the price of oil is falling while gas prices are still high. If the price of gas is driven by the global market, why is the price of oil coming down, but the price at the pump is still near record highs? Do not control the market price of crude oil or natural gas, nor of refined products like gasoline and diesel fuel. Republicans at the hearing blame President Biden for the high gas prices, saying his clean energy policies destabilize the market. Oh, it's always a national something day. Today is National Beer Day, so Miller Lite is celebrating by making sure other beers can taste more like theirs. He said, what? Well, you can now buy Miller Lite beer drops. Similar to Mio, which enhances water flavor, these drops enhance your beer. Miller Lite says light beer shouldn't taste like water, so adding their beer drops to other light brews will enhance the flavor with the taste of a fine Pilsner. The first batch of beer drops is already sold out. Miller Lite says more are going to go on sale. Guess when? 
today today for National Beer Day. Seems like it just seems like kind of like a gimmick, though. That's I mean, right. you That's could just exactly go. I mean, Scott was saying earlier, you could just go and buy Miller Light. Yeah, right. why wouldn't you just get the well, beer? Why would you buy another light beer and then for it to taste like? Right. And I want to know say, how oh, many. Oh, then I'm going to buy the droplets to put in there. <laughs> right. No. I want to know how many are sold out, though. Mm -hmm. Right. Were there like two? <laughs> yeah. Good point. You know, <laughs> at yes. the most, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't really make sense. It's kind of a cool looking bottle, though. It's like, oh, the bottle does look good. You're at the bar. Ketchup, you're at the bar. Like, oh, let me just make this a Miller Light. A couple of drops. <laughs> drop, drop. So, yeah. Right? I just don't. We're talking yeah. about it, and they're I know, and they're, they're getting it. Yep. Yep, that's mm -hmm. right. Who was mm -hmm. in the marketing department? Exactly. <laughs> yes. All right. Hey, uh, cold weather on the way today, guys. Get ready for that. Certainly a cooler day. We'll try to enjoy some sunshine at times, but I can tell you it's going to be really one of those odd days. We'll have strong wind gusts, uh, pockets of sunshine, then. Rain chances coming through could have a rumble of thunder around the area. Could see rain mixed in with ice pellets or grapple later on today. So a little bit of everything. I don't want to overlook the wind though. Just know it's going to be quite gusty uh, later on today. We'll show you some of the wind, uh, you know, gusts that could be impacting us uh, throughout the afternoon coming up though. Right now, a lot of dry territory, although there are hints, maybe one or two light showers out there dotting the windshield. Uh, looks like better rain chances get in here for the afternoon and there are still snow flying out across Minnesota, North Dakota and South Dakota and that energy, that low, that cutoff low is dropping here it looks like for tomorrow and heading into our Saturday as well. Winter not done yet here in Indiana, 42. Our current reading and the winds are up now to 14 miles an hour, so we're in the low 40s, but wind chills predominantly now are in the mid to lower 30s. It is a chilly start here to our Thursday morning, and as I mentioned, there's a shower chances on through the afternoon into the evening. The Indians have a double header tonight, uh, starts at 6.05. They'll try to get those games in. They couldn't get the one in yesterday due to the rain that we had earlier on uh, Wednesday, but again, trying to get those games in later on tonight. Uh, the winds will be up, as you'll notice, right around uh, 9 a.m. Wind gusts up to about 22 miles an hour. Heading into the afternoon, stronger west winds here by 2 p.m. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. We'll keep those strong wind gusts going through the afternoon and into the early evening as well. The winds will settle down a little bit, but still breezy late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Look at our hour-by-hour -hour forecast here. Highs today struggling. We normally should be enjoying an afternoon high at 61. Our high today likely only getting up to about 50 degrees. Uh, tonight, a little bit more dry time, I think, in the later hours and then heading into tomorrow. We'll do it again, but even colder weather tomorrow. Rain chances, wet snow mixing in at times, but predominantly rain, it looks like on our Friday. If we're to see any light accumulation in grassy areas, it looks like it'll be early Saturday morning and on through Saturday afternoon, and then we'll finally begin to dry out and actually warm up, it looks like, on Sunday and into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Nothing's changed on that. We will start to warm up, and Sunday does look dry here uh, across at least central Indiana, so that's good news. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast now. A little upside down here today, tomorrow, and Saturday. We'll start to jump back up to 62 on Sunday. 70s are back. Limited shower chances now on Monday, but still a lot of dry time. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, better rain chances and storm chances by Wednesday. Brent? Sounds good. Into next week, Jim. Thank you. 718 right now. I want to start off with some good news on the south side. That earlier crash, westbound 465 near State Road 37, has cleared out. We were dealing with a pretty significant backup, though, almost all the way to I-65, so it'll take a few minutes to spread out. We are still seeing some really heavy volume through that area. Starting to move just a little bit faster, though. Hopefully, this will be moving as normal the next time we check in. Still seeing red speed sensors there on the south side, heading westbound on 465. Heading out the door right now in Fishers, southbound I-69 from 116th Street down to 465. About a five to six minute commute there. Eastbound I-70 from State Road 267 in Plainfield over to 465 on the west side, six minutes and also 11 minutes on the north side. Westbound 465 from I-69 to 865. Mid to high 60s, really, what we're seeing for average speeds on all of those areas on our interstates. 465 at Fall Creek Road, northeast side, busy both directions. Still going the speed limit, though. Northwest side looking good, too, at the I-65, 465 split. Angela. All right, Britt. A woman wins $10 million by accident. This is fun. this is a fun one. Still to come how she claims being bumped into by a stranger got her a winning lotto ticket. What? Yes.
Plus, Forbes out with this year's list of the world's richest people. We'll take a look at the top three, and guess what? There is a new name on the list. See if you can guess in the break. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman, the man for all seasons. Problems with your foundation, basement, or crawl space can severely affect the safety and value of your home. At Indiana Foundation Services, we offer permanent solutions. Call us today for a free inspection. Hi, I'm Michael Needler, your local grocer and proud father of four great kids. When it's my turn to cook, I always come to Needler's for Meals Made Easy for a quick, easy, delicious meal. Try Meals Made Easy at Needler's. You'll be delighted. Spring is in the air, so isn't it time to refresh your home's look? During God Be Home Furnishing Spring Sale, we've got a huge amount of inventory in stock and ready to be delivered. Come see us at God Be Home Furnishings. The car you want, the way you want. The way I want means trusting that I'm getting the best car for my needs. And it means getting a reliable car that I can afford. Find the car you want, the way you want at TomWood.com. Hey gang, springtime is here and we are loaded with color. So it's time to get on down to the getting place. Because you know if you want it, we've got it. If I don't have it, I'll get it. If I can't get it, you don't need it. And remember, two locations, Greenwood and Brownsburg. Yes! Fine. the weather tech's here. WeatherTech is the ultimate protection for your vehicle. Laser measured floor liners, no drill mud flaps, cargo liner, bump step, seat protector, and cup phone. What about my car? WeatherTech. Life is a precious gift from God. Julie McGuire talks about the sanctity of life. Our family wouldn't be complete without Brady and Mark. Julie applies her pro-life values as an adoptive parent and believes education and public safety are also keys to keeping our children safe. I'm unapologetic in my conservative views. We need leaders who are dedicated to life, liberty, and the rule of law. Life, liberty, community. Conservative Republican Julie McGuire for state representative. No fluff. No long-winded explanations. Just what really matters. Tonight's news. And tomorrow's weather. Fox 59 News Point at 11. Moisture on your walls and basement floors are all indications that you need a water protection system. At Indiana Foundation Services, we offer permanent solutions that help put your worries to rest. Call us today for a free inspection. 723 is your time on this Thursday and a concerning new discovery for the first time researchers find microplastics deep in the lungs of living people. Researchers at Whole York Medical School in England say they found these tiny pieces of plastic that come as a result of the disposable of uh, industrial waste. The plastics have previously been found in human blood and in the depths of the ocean. Research is identifying 12 types of these microplastics, which are commonly found in things like bottles and packaging, clothing and twine, along with other manufacturing processes. These microplastics included polyethylene, nylon and resins. A new UN climate report reveals temperatures on Earth will shoot past a key danger point. That's unless greenhouse gas emissions are better controlled by countries who committed to change. The report blamed governments and corporations for continuing to use harmful fossil fuels, which cause global warming and its devastating side effects. The report's authors did provide some hope for the future. A healthier planet would require a shift toward renewable energy, efficient use of resources, and massive financial support for poorer countries unable to afford such measures. All right, well, here's a sobering look at how much high inflation is impacting our everyday lives. Economists from Bloomberg say you will need an additional $5,200 more this year to live the life you had in 2021. That's an extra $433 per month. Gasoline is still over $4 in many places. Grocery prices are expected to increase between 3 and 4% by the end of the year. The cost of meat, poultry, fish, and eggs is 13% higher 
since February of 2021. From entertainers to entrepreneurs, Forbes out with that annual list of the world's billionaires. This year, Elon Musk dethroned Jeff Bezos as the world's richest billionaire. Musk now worth $219 billion. Trailing behind him is Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos at $171 billion. Bezos was number one last year, if you remember. New to the list this year, singer and entrepreneur Rihanna. Forbes says a 34-year-old is the world's richest female singer. She has a net worth of $1.7 billion, thanks in large part to her Fenty Beauty cosmetics line. And those cosmetics line making a lot of people, like yes. Kardashians, are very wealthy, too. It's I'd insane. say so. Good for Rihanna. Here's for this story we've been talking about. A California woman, now a multimillionaire, after some just, I guess you call it incredible luck? Yes. Back in November, LaQuedra Edwards put $40 into a lottery scratchers machine at the supermarket. Okay. Okay, then she says she accidentally pushed the wrong number on the machine when someone bumped into her. <laughs> she was disappointed because she wasn't able to click the one she wanted, but decided, mm. you know what, I'm just going to scratch it anyway. Turns out the person who bumped into her really helped her out because Edwards won the top prize of $10 million. So she plans to use the money to buy a house and start a nonprofit. So that's wonderful. <sighs> but I wonder if. She'll ever mm -hmm. find that person that bumped into her. <laughs> you know, thanks for the bump. Yeah, right? Good for her. All I'd right, community so. leaders break ground on the new Fort Benjamin Harrison Library. They're hoping to bring easier access to books for all ages. We'll speak with the site's future branch manager on the important programs the library will have to offer. And IMPD kicks off Distracted Driving Awareness Month. How officers are stepping up to make our streets safer. We'll be right back. At Floors Your Home, we know you want worry-free flooring. We've just made a special purchase of Pergo Elements Waterproof Laminate Flooring. Bold styles and superior protection for your home. Who saves you over 50% on top quality flooring? Floors Your Home. That's who. After an accident, you need help putting all the pieces back together. Did you know that having a law firm represent you on average gets a settlement three times higher than people who don't have a lawyer? Keller & Keller's goal is to get you the justice you deserve. And that means getting you every single dollar you're owed. Call Keller & Keller and get what you deserve. 1-800-2-KELLER Keller & Keller, the name you know. Jurassic Quest is back and bigger than ever. See life-size animatronic dinosaurs, walking dinos, baby dinos, and the huge 50-foot-long megalodon. Indiana State Fairgrounds, this weekend only. Buy tickets in advance for best selection at JurassicQuest.com. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Today, every business is digital. From web design and development to e-commerce, AmericanEagle.com delivers innovative website and digital solutions, driving growth for their clients. Their e-commerce work for WeatherTech focused on advanced functionality in finding specific products, increasing conversion, and accelerating growth. Need to build online revenue? Let's talk. AmericanEagle.com. Building your digital mindset. Having a hard time finding the furniture you want or need in stock? RG Decor is fully stocked with American-made furniture with brands like Vanguard, Sierra Lane, Braddington Young, and Rowe. Stop in today to RG Decor and let one of our interior designers help you create the home of your dreams. Fox 59 News Crime Mapping, a powerful new tool to help you pinpoint exactly what violent crimes are happening where. Log on to Fox59.com. Save on your new flooring during our tax refund sale. We have the new flooring you want in stock. Over 1,200 styles available, all priced at less than half of our competitors. Who saves you over 50% on top quality flooring and has what you want in stock? Floors your home. That's who. Hey, hey, happy Thursday. Here's a live look at Wrigley Field where the Cubs will play their opening game. It's tonight. Today marks the start of the Major League Baseball season. I wonder if Jim has any... 
socks on that are Cubs or something. The Cubs will face the Brewers at 2:20 this afternoon. Some other regional games of note: Cleveland starts a new chapter in franchise history as the Guardians. They are on the road at 4 p.m. against Kansas City Royals. The St. Louis Cardinals they open their season at home against the Pittsburgh Pirates at 4 p.m. Tonight, the Reds take on the reigning World Series champs, the Atlanta Braves. That game is in ATL, set for 8:08 p.m. Welcome back. Yeah. Well, they Ooh, have good snow. Big. Good snow at Stop Wrigley it. today. No, really? I mean, well, we have the chance here. Heading into uh, tonight and into tomorrow, yeah. So I don't know if they'll stop opening fans, day. Though. They're no, going to still be out there. It's I've, National I've Beer Day. Yes. Really, yeah, that's what yes. I was going to say. They go hand in hand. And the <laughs> Masters starts today too. Ooh, big so, day. Tigers. Tiger. Kick, I mean, not kick off. Sorry. Uh, teeing off. <laughs> Thank you. Kicking <laughs> off. Moved, kicking off. Get well. moved, moved several hours because of thunderstorms. Oh, oh they have. Okay, yeah, I've not read on that bit. yet. I think it's so, 11 now or something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So all eyes on that today. Huge. I mean, who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? be back. I mean, mm -hmm. I thought he'd be back to play golf, but, you know, to play the Masters yeah. is just a huge thing Sorry. today. So, a lot going on in the, the tee off. Yeah, it's tee off. Tee time. Tea time. Uh, all right, let's uh, show what's happening in Fishers right now. A little overcast there, but the sun trying to break out. Not much on the radar here yet. We'll start to see those shower chances return. Now, the rain not as steady as it was going back to our Wednesday, but still we'll have these pockets of rain at times. A lot of wind around the area today, and you can see how cold it is. 41 now uh, here in downtown with a wind chill at 33, and that wind will add to the chill today. Wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour. We will struggle to warm up, running well below average this afternoon. Keep the umbrella handy. A high today that tops out only at 50 degrees. All right, let's get an update in traffic right now. Still got a big backup out there. Britt's got the latest on that. Yeah, that's right. A little more than halfway through, through the 7 o'clock hour, and that earlier crash did clear already on the south side, westbound 465 near State Road 37, but still dealing with some very heavy volume way under the speed limit. We did have a pretty severe backup there on the south side. It just hasn't spread out yet. So taking a look at that camera, we can see just how slow traffic is moving. Taking a look at the big picture, Bluff Road at Banta Road, we did just get an alert of a new crash. Hasn't quite popped up on our map yet, though. If you're heading to the airport from downtown, should only take you about 12 minutes. 35 minutes to the airport from Fishers right now, and 22 minutes to get to the airport from Greenwood might be a few minutes longer, actually, if you're using 465 on the south side, just because of that heavy volume. Traveling from the southwest side, though, to the south split downtown, Average speed cruising in the mid 60s there, and northwest side looking good. 465 at West 86th Street. Watch out for a semi though off on the right shoulder just before that ramp to get onto 86th Street from northbound 465. Just that one time that you put your head down or you got your phone in front of you could take somebody's life. Happening today, you'll notice more officers on the road as part of a nationwide initiative to crack down on distracted driving. It's everywhere. And Eric Pointer hit the streets and joins us live now, overlooking 465, sharing the way that this new program is working. Eric, good morning. Well, good morning. So it's called Connect to Disconnect, and it's all about keeping roadways like this one behind me safe for everyone. And several local police departments across central Indiana are taking part. Now, the goal is to spread awareness, educate drivers, and reduce the number of crashes caused by distracted drivers. This month also is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and IMPD officers say they'll be on the lookout for anyone breaking the hands-free driving law. On my way here to meet with you all, I pulled up next to a lady and she's got her phone in her face and I can tell she's texting and she looks over at me because she sees that patrol car she puts her phone down. However, we want you to never do that even when you don't see a patrol car. I think that's extremely important. In 2020, Indiana passed the hands-free driving law. It makes it illegal to even be holding your phone while driving. Since then, police have issued more than 6,000 citations and almost twice as many warnings last year alone. Officials say violations of the hands-free law could result in fines up to $500 per offense. Live here on the Northwest Side, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News. Thank you. Changes made to a bus stop now on the east side after seven-year-old Sevion Sanford was killed when he was hit by two cars last month. It happened near the Warren Harbor Apartments on East 21st Street. We've learned that property management and the Warren Township Schools collaborated to move this stop away from that busy road. They also had yellow lines painted to stop cars from parking where the buses pick up and drop off the students. One of the drivers who hit Sevillan was driving a light-colored sedan. 
They took off from the scene and have not been found. If you have any information on maybe something you saw that day, please call Crime Stoppers. Governor Eric Holcomb is speaking publicly about his veto of a bill that would ban transgender girls from participating in girls' sports. Advocates of the bill say it's about ensuring fairness on the playing field. The governor says there's no data to support the claim that this participation creates an unfair advantage. The governor doubled down on his assessment of that bill. As I looked at the bill, um, it was addressing something that wasn't a problem. Uh, to my knowledge and I reviewed all the testimony I, when I go through the bills I have all the testimony printed so I go back to House Republicans plan to override the veto in late May last month a spokesperson for Senate Republicans told us the Senate will consider the veto override if it's approved in the House overriding a veto in Indiana requires a simple majority in the House and the Senate Two babies surrendered using the safe haven baby boxes in Indiana days apart. One of them, a little boy at Carmel Fire Station 45 on Tuesday morning. The fire chief said crews got to the box less than a minute after the alarm went off. That baby is now at the hospital being checked out. And the chief says he is nice and healthy thanks to the courage of his mother. Well, we're uh, excited that the box was used as an alternative. We realized that there's a, a family and a mother that was in crisis, and uh, we're, we're, we're proud and happy that that mother was able to utilize this box in a safe manner to uh, get care for this little baby boy. And this is the first baby surrendered at that station since it was installed in 2018. It is one of more than 100 boxes in Indiana. Today is the groundbreaking for the future Fort Benjamin Harrison Library. And coming up, we're going to talk to the branch manager about what this library is going to play such a big role in the community and some features that you will see inside. All right, Ange, it looks like uh, we'll enjoy some limited sunshine today. Rain chances back in our fourth straight day with the rain chance here. That trend will continue into the weekend as we'll track not only rain, but snow showers. We'll have more on that and exactly how cold it's going to be over the weekend coming up. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the Buffalo Ranch Chicken Pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Grilled chicken, crunchy bacon, covered in creamy buffalo sauce. Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. Have you been injured? Did you know that you don't need any money to hire Ken Nunn and you can become a client right over the phone? Did you know Ken Nunn can start working on your case the same day you call? And did you know the whole process can be handled over the phone and you never have to leave your house? Call the Ken Nunn Law Office right now and let them get started on getting you a great settlement. Call me. It's just that easy. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Ew, get a room. Can we get the AC fixed already? Mm-hmm. There's an expert for that. Let your local AC experts at Broad Ripple Service Experts keep you cool. Right now, get an AC tune-up for $89. She took the milk. So rude. You're good at keeping the car clean. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. Hey gang, at McCammon's Irish Market, it's the getting place. If you want it, I've got it. If I don't have it, I'll get it. If I can't get it, you don't need it. And remember, two locations, Greenwood and Brownsburg. Sky 59 is powered by Fiesel. No need for a technician to come into your home. Lifetime warranty plus no payments for 12 months. Visit FieselInc.com. What makes best reviews the best reviews? They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to get reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. Call that a plasma sword? 
so you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. At Papa Murphy's, we need seriously, chop seriously, and shred seriously. Because we're serious about Tuesdays, even if you're not. Every Tuesday, get a large pizza for just $10.99. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. In just a few hours, a groundbreaking will be held at the site of the future Fort Benjamin Harrison Library. When it's finished, the library will give both kids and adults in the area better access to many things, including books, of course, but much more than that. And joining me live from the east side is Shelby Peak, the future branch manager of the Fort Ben Library. So good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Absolutely. I know this is a big deal for folks in that area. There's never been a library at Fort Ben before, which is which is actually pretty surprising to a lot of people, right? Yeah, it is. And I mean, people have been wanting this, um, a library in that particular area ever since uh, the land was transitioned from U.S. military to the city. So this is really a big deal for the folks in the area. We're very excited. 22,000 square feet. That's pretty big. Can you tell me some of the things and the highlights of what is actually going to be inside the sites? I mean, obviously books, but a lot of other things too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the most important things that we wanted to keep in mind when putting a bridge in that area was access. So um, it's very accessible from almost every point you could imagine. Um, walking distance, places for bikes, ample parking, and um, there's also going to be access to public transportation, mm -hmm. especially with the purple line that's being installed kind of in tandem with the branch. Um, and uh, we are hoping to have outdoor seating, beautiful landscape mm -hmm. features um, with native Indiana plants. And we're also going to be um, so it's mostly solar powered, roughly about 80% um, solar powered and hoping for LEED Silver certification. That's so cool. um, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, solar power. Look at the top of the roof right there. I think a lot of people too might be thinking, you know, with technology and the internet, libraries have really changed as far as just going in and getting that hard book. Can you talk to us about from your standpoint and what you've studied, just the importance of having um, a community place to go um, in this way? Um, you know, it's, it's very important. Um, you know, besides books and literacy, libraries can be a great space to host um, various community programs, um, encouraging literacy and lifelong learning for all ages. Um, and uh, there's an abundance of resources for um, if you are looking for jobs or just need access to a fax machine or um, tax forms and things like that, um, we can connect people to um, just about anything that they're looking for. It's kind of, um, I, I love being a librarian because it kind of makes me a little bit of a jack of all trades yeah. um, just by, you know, whatever information a person comes in needing to find that day. And right now, I mean, where is the closest library to Fort Bend right now? Um, it's kind of in between um, the Lawrence branch and the Warren mm -hmm. branch, so this, there's quite a big gap between the two, yeah. so this will be filling a um, very large surface gap between Good. those two branches. So people want to know, uh, when does it open, and how is it being funded? Um, sure, so it is being um, funded through bonds that have been approved by the City County Council, um, and we anticipate opening summer of 2023. Okay, we have 30 seconds left, and I want to, as we show some of the groundbreaking here and just the massiveness of this, you guys are also going to be working on a new library groundbreaking to, I do believe, something coming up to maybe Glendale. You guys have that yes. happening soon too? Yes, that'll be in a few weeks on April 21st at 11 a.m., um, I believe off of 67, 62nd Street and Olney Road, um, very close to the existing Glendale branch. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us, Shelby. Good luck to you. We can't wait for everybody to get involved and to have a new place to go. The um, public, by the way, you're invited to attend the groundbreaking this morning. It is at 11 if you'd like to check it out. 9330 East 56th Street parking available right there along Otis Avenue and Melner Road. Jim O'Brien, um, at least, I mean, it's probably going to be muddy out there with a little bit of rain yesterday morning, but maybe it dried <laughs> the ground, out. Yeah, the ground a little soft, Ange, uh, which is a good thing.
Uh, not overly cold out there to begin our morning, but uh, hopefully the rain holds off until after that groundbreaking. Uh, we are one week now into the month of April and running below average in temperatures nearly three degrees cooler than normal. And actually, with all the rain chances that we've had this week, uh, we're still running about a quarter of an inch below average as well in rainfall. Now, we are enjoying some limited sunshine out there, but it is a chilly morning out there, and the wind is not helping out much at all. Now, there's not much on the radar, maybe one or two light showers, maybe a pocket of light drizzle, but overall, uh, pretty dry out there to start out the morning rush hour. We are tracking, by the way, snow showers out towards the west and to the north, and some of that is headed here. Look, uh, looking into tomorrow and Saturday, uh, winter not done just yet here in Indiana. That is going to drop through the Ohio Valley. And you see that big area of low pressure and all the cold air that wraps around this thing. That thing's going to be dropping off towards the south and southeast uh, within the next 24 hours. Now we're at 41 out of the airport, a west wind at 16, so that air has got a little sting to it. Uh, you'll need that winter coat heading out. Wind chills currently at 33 here in downtown. Feels like 33 in Lafayette, 35 in Kokomo, and 38 our wind chill uh, in Bloomington. Now, rain chances start to become a bit more numerous uh, throughout the afternoon, so we'll have a better chance then, and a lot of wind around. Now, if we get sunshine in between these light, spotty showers, uh, we can see these clouds actually grow vertically. Uh, so there might be a lightning flash around or maybe a rumble of thunder later on today, and that could mix in with uh, ice pellets. So there's a little bit of everything that could happen uh, throughout the afternoon. Then on top of that, I mentioned the wind. Uh, the wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour later on today. So not a good day shaping up, uh, but uh, certainly much colder weather uh, in store, it looks like, for tomorrow and into our Saturday. I mentioned winds will be quite gusty, but right on through the evening as well. And you can see our day planner for today. I mean, we're just not going to warm up that much. Our high nearing 50. Later on tonight, we'll start to settle back down into the lower 30s early tomorrow morning. So a chilly night ahead. More rain tomorrow. Wet snow mixing in at times. A better chance of those snow chances, it looks like, really going into early Saturday morning and off and on Saturday afternoon. Could see a light dusting. Before we start to warm things back up, it uh, looks like on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday of next week. One thing I do want to point out for the weekend, not only with that snow chance on Saturday, you can see the low gets down to 30 early Sunday morning. So we could have patchy frost, and that could damage more plants and flowers Sunday morning. 62 Sunday afternoon, 70s though, they are back Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Brent? Hey, 747, not looking too bad out there right now. That backup we were seeing on the south side really starting to spread out, moving a bit faster, picking up the pace on 465 westbound. Looking at the big picture, though, we've got a new crash to watch out for downtown. Vermont Street at Pennsylvania Street, some red speed sensors showing around that. Want to remind you of a few closures in place right now. Eastbound 38th Street from Fall Creek to Keystone Avenue. That's going to last until mid-August, and there are detours in place, so you can follow those detour signs. We also have a closure on 71st Street at Shadeland Avenue. They're between Benford Boulevard and Shadeland for bridge work there, close to 465. And heading down through Lebanon right now, I-65 southbound towards 865 on the northwest side. High 60s is what we're seeing, but here's a look on the south side where, as I mentioned, we are starting to move a bit faster. 465 close to State Road 37. Melissa. All right, Brett, thank you. And hey, speaking of traffic, new parking restrictions are in place in Carmel. Between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. on school days, there will be no parking or stopping on streets near Carmel Clay School properties. Signs will be installed in these areas. The ordinance was adopted to address safety hazards and traffic congestion. So if you live in that area, you can actually get a free parking permit from police to park near your home. These new restrictions do not apply to city business construction or other commercial services like deliveries. Spring has sprung. Doesn't really feel like it, does it? But though it may not consistently, um, you can make it feel like spring inside. At yes, least. you can. Sherman is showing us just the place to find some items to brighten your space. Hey, Sherman. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And guess what? So this is a tiny little shop, okay? But it specializes in a lot of big old cool things from around the world. Absolutely. Where Sherman? We're shopping in Old Town Greenwood. Live next.
Need new carpet? At Floors Your Home, we have Indy's largest selection at the guaranteed lowest price. Hundreds of rolls in stock. Take it home today or have it installed. Who saves you over 50% on top quality carpet? Floors Your Home. That's who. You've been in an accident, and now the insurance company is trying to bully you into taking their lowball offer. Don't take it. Call Keller and Keller. 1 800 to Keller. Keller and Keller, the name you know. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. Since 1981, RG Decor Home Furnishings Redefined. I was dragged underneath the car. It was a frightening experience. Danny was a road worker on a road job site. Just minutes before his day ended, it happened. A reckless driver in a construction zone hit Danny. It was so quick that I couldn't even react. Danny would see the inside of a hospital for more than three months. I just wanted to go home. Home is where my heart was. If you injure a road worker because of careless driving through a construction zone, you will be prosecuted. For your sake and theirs, read the signs, slow down, save a life. We're all in this together. Fox 59 Morning News delivers the news, weather, and traffic reports from the people who get you going. Weekdays from 4 to 7. Just arrived at Floors to Your Home, truckloads of Pergo Extreme waterproof flooring, 100% dent-proof, child-proof, pet-proof, waterproof, and we have it priced better than anywhere else. Who saves you over 50% on top quality flooring? Floors to Your Home. That's who. All right, time for a little spring spruce up around the house. A tiny shop on Main Street is filled with beautiful things to brighten your world. Yeah, so where is Sherman? He is live on Main Street in Greenwood this morning. Good morning, Sherman. Good morning, ladies. Okay, this is shop here you need to stop in. Let me tell you, it's right on Main Street, as you mentioned, in what's called Old Town Greenwood, actually. Uh, 215, is it? Mm -hmm. we're at? 215 West Main Street. I mentioned that because it's a tiny shop. You can drive right by it. But I'm telling you, you don't want to because it's so really cool. It opened in May of last year, so coming up on a year. Ta-da! Hello, Ashley McLaughlin. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. I'm so happy that you're here We're visiting happy. us. We're happy to. <laughs> <laughs> so she and her mother-in-law, yes, Kelly. Kelly. This is the shop you guys started. Yeah. Yeah, and, it's been so sweet. Okay, all right, let's get to everything. I walked in this morning, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your place. You specialize in a lot of different things, but I'll let you take it from there because there's a lot. Yeah, so the reason we opened was because we were traveling abroad and we saw all of these amazing community-driven spaces that represented makers from all over, and we were like, oh, how neat would it be to have that in Greenwood? And so. That's what made us open and there's just so many incredible female makers that we wanted to represent and so we have stuff from all over the world with women who are just getting started and a lot of the stuff in our shop it's the first time it's ever been in the u.s so small makers yes uh made by hand most of what you see yes. here uh from around uh, the world and here's what's really interesting about this um, when you say around the world you literally mean that be and there's everything from let's see um, well I'll grab look from, <laughs> look look house slippers yes right to throws these yeah, are Turkish. handmade in Morocco and Turkish textiles yeah, so, yeah, there's all these beautiful things right and oh by the way let's start with some of the things we picked out that you have because this is part of the experience here. Yeah, so every Thursday we stock fresh flowers. These bouquets are made by Blooms by Wildwood. They're also available at Wildwood Market, but she especially makes neutral bouquets for us every week. Um, and these are the flowers that my husband gave me for the first time, and oh. I knew that I wanted them to be in the shop, so that's like a really oh, sweet part. Oh, yeah. see, there's stories everywhere to look. Okay, gift boxes you do, especially. Yes. Any, we can do a gift box for anything. We have some pre-made, but we love to custom make ones for any events. We'll do them for Mother's Day, for birthdays, for baby showers, for anything. And this here, okay, point out where this is from. This line is all the same line. Yes, Tene and Mia. And where is that? 
That's in the Netherlands. Okay. And so all of the stationery and the vegan leather bags actually color coordinate so they make beautiful gifts if you tell us it's a birthday gift or something special we'll always do a dried flower boutonniere that we'll make for it which on we top. have here okay so yeah. the stationery and the bags they all coordinate yeah how cool is that then these tell yes. us about these earrings yes so these earrings are hand beaded uh they're another netherlands brand we love her so much and then this uh tray underneath it is actually from london it's liberty print fabric um she preserves the different fabrics so you can use it just around your house for anything a jewelry catch for your soap but they're really beautiful rare uh textiles that are preserved inside wow and the earrings okay look stuff for kiddos too yes so this oh, this is such a sweet one because these are montessori toys uh from poland and she hand makes these these ones have um, the string behind them and they can practice just with their hands oh. to weave through okay. and then there's also chalkboard ones and it comes with these little packs of chalk that are really sweet and we have tons of little kid stuff yeah little ear, little uh, sunglasses yeah. and then these Some really cool okay, so now I'm ready to roll this is from where's this one from this is from Canada right? yes Look Mimi in August she makes the sweetest things and she uh, made those prints and then those are to go coffee cups but we have tons of ceramics and other coffee cups yeah as well. we'll get some more of that yeah out. okay so it's brick and mortar uh, did i say the name i didn't say all that, did I say all that? <laughs> anyway brick and mortar it's on west main street old town greenwood coming up uh wait tuesday thursday friday right thursday friday saturday thursday so friday open. saturday thursday friday saturday you're open and then guess what you can shop by appointment only too okay sh got it all right bye i know i'm gonna go <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sherman, we're listening and watching. You look great. Like yeah. those glasses on you. I was going to say, that's a look. That is yeah. a look.